to the late stream, guys. I'm so sorry. I tried so many things <laughs> for the tonight's stream. I was like, oh, I'm gonna be cute and we're gonna try a different camera setup for this thing. And I was like, it's gonna look really nice and really crisp and all that stuff and it's gonna be great. And uh, yeah, tried all that. Spent like many hours, many hours. Uh, just for me to revert to my original camera. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> don't you love when that happens? Oh, how's it going, everybody? How, uh, how was your Tuesday? I hope everyone had a good day. Yeah, classic. Classic. Oh, boy. It's all right, you know, learning experience. I thought to use my phone and then I realized my phone was only a, only allowing me to have like 720 and then I was like well that's not gonna look really cute and all of this stuff and I'm sorry about your prediction points and all of that <laughs> sorry chat oh. a mix of shoveling snow and meal prep dude I saw your picture in discord about how much snow there was jeez dude there's so much that's a lot of snow. Sheesh. All those points? I don't even know how many points it was. I'm sorry for letting you guys down. I know I went really late on the starting today. I apologize. Uh, but yeah, I was, you know, having a peppy meltdown. <laughs> but this is what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be assembling this. Which is why I have all my lights on so that this camera can pick it up and stuff. So, that pile is six feet high and takes up half the yard, all in the last week and a half? Oh my goodness, that is insane, insane, insane. That's a lot of snow. Yikes. That's a workout though, that's for sure. I don't know if I need tools for this, by the way. Oh, requires batteries. Ay -ay -ay. I wonder if I have any. Triple A batteries, two of them. That's okay. Typically, I don't know. We'll find out when I get to it. Did I get a lot of snow in your hometown growing up? Uh, some days, yeah. Some days, some days, some years rather. Some years there would be a lot, a lot of snow. Like, um, around my parents' house, they have like, uh, well, I guess just around the house, like the way everything is set up like my parents have um like bushes kind of like surrounding the house a little bit and so snow accumulates between the house and the bushes so there would always be like really huge like snow banks i guess you could say and one of our favorite things to do would be to make like tunnels or like little like tunnels in those snow banks so like um hang on i, I want to show you what this looks like or what this would look like. We would have like pictures of us like with snow days and stuff. Um, so this is the house, okay. Uh, and then there's like little shrubberies here. Uh, so what would happen is the snow would like, with the wind and stuff, the way the wind would like, the snow would accumulate like this. Uh, like all around the house. And it would basically just be like a really big like wave of snow just kind of like like that so we would make like tunnels maybe not that big of a tunnel but sometimes we would make like tunnels and we would make the tunnel go like all the way to the top and there were some years where we could actually go onto the roof of the house because of how high the snow was yeah it's pretty crazy pretty crazy a lot of snow and and be there were like years where there were like floods and stuff because we had so much snow you should be an artist <laughs> oh, I had to I had to show you guys yeah prairies are weird for snow during my six years in moose jaw we had anywhere from tons of snow to literally yeah literally no snow the next it's it's always really cold but sometimes you know true Picasso <laughs> hi Lily it's good to see you hi Jackie do I miss the snow I mean, for Christmas, yeah. It, it's always really weird just having Christmas without snow. I'm like, 
this even Christmas? Like, what, what is this? You know? What the heck is this? Hi, the dong. Good to see you. Hello, hello. One line stick figure specialist. That's right. That's me. <laughs> That's me. Um, so yeah. What's up? What's up? When we play War Crimes Pokemon? Oh my god. That stuff looked crazy. That comes out when again? Friday or something? I don't know if we'll play it because obviously we're gonna be playing Cyberpunk and all of that. So I don't know. Our last white Christmas was 2009. <gasps> what? Yeah, I forget the name of the game, but there's like this game that came out that looks like a mix of like Fortnite and Pokemon. And uh Pal World. Yeah. And the Pokemon look like they are not treated or Pokemon, you know. Look like they, like they are not treated amazingly. It makes me sad. <laughs> it looks wild though. Am I gonna try The Last of Us 2 Remaster? Uh, I'm definitely not gonna stream it. I don't even know if it's worth it for me to play it off stream either. Um, I... I'm not gonna worry about it, I don't think. I think it's too soon. Like, if we had played The Last of Us 2, like, longer ago... If we had a bigger break between the last time we played it, then maybe? But I don't think it's gonna be worth it enough. I don't think there's enough of a change for us to take a look at it again so soon, I suppose, if that makes sense. Uh, there's the new game mode. Yeah, true. I don't know if, I don't know. I think we're just gonna be really be, like, focusing on cyberpunk up next, so. I think. Hi, Phantomson! Uh, yeah, I had a good day today. It was decently productive, but weirdly not productive enough, I feel like. Also, yeah, I don't know. Weird day. Random day. Hello from France. Hello, Trudusan. Welcome on in. I think Naughty Dog has to make something new and move on from The Last of Us, <laughs> as far as the games go. Well, I think they're, like, trying to bank on, you know, bringing out The Last of Us 2 remastered before the series comes out, you know? So, I, I think it was a smart business decision for them to make that remastered thing. Because they... The Last of Us 2 never actually came out for the PS5 before. Uh, I think it came out, um, what's it called? Came out right before the PS5 did. They wouldn't make them if people didn't want them. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people really like The Last of Us as well. So, oh, it's just a $10 upgrade? That's pretty good, that's not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, okay. I have no idea, I've never built one of these before, but this is the, the goal for today. So, as I mentioned, this, uh, I was working on this camera setup for forever. <laughs> and I tried using different cameras, I wanted to use a different camera, didn't have like, like a battery thing that I needed for it to work. And then I was like, oh, maybe my iPhone, my older iPhone camera will be better than what I'm currently using, like my, the one I've been using for my Pokemon card openings, because I just wanted something a little nicer. And then turns out this was, this was still better than whatever my iPhone was picking up, so we're using, we're back to this. Tom Nook and got Animal Crossing PTSD. Book Nook. Yeah, these are really, really cute. It's just like a, a bookend type of thing. Yeah, I think this is fine. This is this looks pretty good for what it is, you know? Hi, one above. What's up, what's up? So we're gonna be doing this today. I don't know if I should be doing this under the just chatting category or if I should go under like makers and or builders or whatever it's called. Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah. yeah. 3D creative bookends. Isn't there a puzzle? Uh, not doing a puzzle today. Last of Us Part 1 is my favorite game. I want to see what else they're making. Are they in, like, the works of anything right now? Oh, can I turn the music down? Yeah. Of course. Is competing with your mic volume? Yeah, if ever my music is ever too loud for anything, just always just let me know. You know? Crafting, maybe? We could do that. Oh, they said they're working on something outside of The Last of Us. Oh, that's nice. Nice. 
This is like a puzzle, so it can go in the puzzle Twitch section. Oh. Uh, I don't feel like it's like a puzzle. There is like a makers and building category though. We can go under that. A fantasy game? Ooh, interesting. There we go. I should have taken pictures of it without the wrapping on. It looks so much better. Okay. The chat is double. Oh my god, it is. What the heck? You're right. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, there we go. Uh, did they fix your heater? Yes. So they came and fixed the heater today, actually. Uh, true eagle, true. I actually think I I don't know what happened the other day. I was just chilling. And it said I turned on followers only mode. And for zero minutes though. And I was like, maybe that's all it takes to deter <laughs> the weirdos. Maybe. Hi Gold, how are ya? Uh true, that is true. You know what I realized? Or I'm I'm the reason I didn't go under like a no category or I stopped doing the no category thing is I feel like it there was potential that being under a no category might like Twitch might think it's weird because there's like because there isn't a category it might affect like ad stuff or something. I don't know. Uh, taglines, thank you so much for the hundred biddies. Okay, so, oh gosh. So this is, this is what we're doing today. Part of me was like, what if I made a TikTok about this? But, I feel like that would be really cute. But I don't know how to do that plus stream at the same time. Remember last time I did, uh, I did the, Demon Slayer canvas puzzle thingy? That was kind of hard to, I don't know, stitch together. Do I even have books that are not manga? I have some books that are not manga, but manga are books. So. Am I going to TwitchCon this year? I don't know. You know I'm not big on going to TwitchCon in general, so I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. Yeah, post-game puzzling. This is the <laughs> the unwinding our brain from Link's await a link to the past. Cause that I just needed a uh, I needed to chill. <laughs> I needed to chill. So there's people there, and Looney don't like people IRL. I don't like places with a lot of people. Okay, so this is what it kind of looks like. We have my reflection. Hi. It, it comes with like layers of, I think it's like wood? Whoa. This is crazy. Huh. It's a lot closer so you could just see friends and avoid the event. True. That is true. It is closer. Oh my gosh. Parts list. Q&A. Okay. How to deal with loose parts. Apply glue. <laughs> what if there are burrs on the edge of parts? In order to ensure your safety and its installation accuracy, please remove the parts first. Then use the included sandpaper. Wow, so they include sandpaper and everything? Whoa. Crazy. I'm scared. Uh, I never have to deal with Christmas shopping crowds for sure. Yeah, this is intense. This is not what I expected. Uh, same. I don't know what I expected. The light wires? Oh man, am I gonna have to do stuff with lights? You can touch the switch of the front board lightly and all light beads will be on. What if the light cannot work after connecting the battery box with the lights? Firstly, check if wire's connection is wrong. I okay, that makes me nervous. What need what need to be considered when connecting the battery box with the light? Twist the same color wires together. If you connect red with black, it will short out after powering on. I'm scared. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Okay, well, you know what? We'll get to that when we get to that. Um 
Yeah, I'm using my engineer major, by the way. Need a big brain for this, I think? Listen, I used all of my brain in the last stream, okay? There is no brain left. It's gone. Read Q&A in previous page before assembling. Wait, apply a dab of glue on shaded areas. Am I supp- Oh! Oh god! Does this come with glue? Am I- or am I supposed to have glue? Because if I'm supposed to have glue, this is gonna be awkward. Because I did not- <laughs> It didn't tell me anywhere beforehand, like, you need this, 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 and this. Oh my god. No reading instructions. Goodness. Okay. Let me see this. Okay, well... Um, batteries, glue, or pigment may not be included. Please prepare them yourself. Psh. Okay. Um, so... <laughs> this is awkward. <laughs> um, hmm, interesting. No glue? This was fun while it lasted! Uh, good morning! Let me appreciate the natural lip color. Oh, thank you, Wolfreen. It's good to see you. So, uh, cyberpunk? <laughs> uh, I don't know. This is- this is weird. I was not anticipating this because usually when I do, like, model kits and stuff, I, uh, I, uh, don't need glue. I do have Pokemon TCG, but I don't know. Hi, BP! What's up, what's up? Guys, it's actually really good that I didn't open um, what I got the other day because there's act I'm actually not supposed to even open that yet. And I could have gotten in big trouble. Um, they provided sandpaper and you can't even have glue. Yeah. So, <laughs> I learned that from Nikki. Me too. <laughs> I watched her, her story today and I was like, holy shit. Good thing I didn't open that because, oh my god. All right, so I'm sorry for the debate. We are not doing this today. So I, I, I'm having a great time. Uh, hi, Rendezvous. Long time no view. Hope all has been well. Good to see you. Welcome on in. Thank you. Uh, yeah. I don't have glue and I was unprepared, so. I'm sorry. What else can we do? I technically have the Nezuko, uh, I technically have the Nezuko model kit that I haven't put together yet. Which I forgot about. And we could do that. And then, in the interim, do I even want to do this on stream? This seems so hefty. I feel like I would want to really be able to pay attention to this. I also have the puzzle with the missing piece. I do. But ain't no way I finished that in one stream. Right? I also have 151 cards. I know, but for 151 cards, I, I have to use... I have to incentivize those two with subs to open because they're expensive. <laughs> They're really expensive. So for every three subs, we I can open Pokemon cards. Um, no, you know what? I, I, shut up, please. Just, I, I shouldn't have streamed today. <laughs> do not ever compare me to any of my friends ever again. You do that one more time, you're banned forever. I don't care who the fuck you are. Do not do that ever again. It's so fucked up if you do that. Okay, I, I, I just, I don't care. It's just, you do not do that. One second, let me look for my model kit. Um, oh, nothing's working out. People are idiots. Let's see. Oh, I found it.
right. Uh, I have, I have this. Does this make up for it? Does it? Was that a figure? Yeah. I have Tanjiro and Rengoku over here, which I have uh, not, right, I've done already. Yeah. Yeah, you know what, while I'm at it, can PSA, do, do not call me by like some cutesy pet name, it's cringe. I hate it when people do that. Like, it, like, don't call me, like, you know, angel, just fucking anything, like, it's just, like, weird. I'm just, I don't even, thank you, I don't even care anymore, okay? Like, if you don't understand, if you didn't understand what you, what you said, like, about what you said that was wrong, you're just an idiot, okay? I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. What I miss? Nothing worthy of anything, <laughs> to be honest. Okay. <sighs> okay. I need to let everybody know that I debated them. Where's Twitter? We're not doing that, we're doing Nezuko freaking kit. Some people just like ride the line of like just barely doing something wrong. And sometimes I just wait for the moment they just step over that line, finally, so I can just actually get rid of them. You know? Like, it, I, it, I don't care if you throw money at me. If you're gonna be a dickhead and compare my friends to each other or say really fucked up things about people I care about, or just like, being weird and inappropriate on my stream, I don't need you here. I, I really don't. I just don't. None of us do, actually. Um, uh, okay. Uh, just kidding, I need glue and I don't have any. We're building... a Nezuko model, model kit instead. Okay, should I take a picture of it? Aren't all those things reasons to yeet them anyway? Honestly, I'm too nice is the problem. You know, some people, uh, I'm actually not even too sure. It, like, it's, uh, it, they're wood pieces. It just says glue. I'll worry about it next time. It's okay, it's okay. Yeah, it's just like people who are just like riding the line, like they're technically not doing anything to, like that's necessarily wrong per se. And it's just like barely, you know? It's like a step of like right on below, like underneath, like, you know? Yeah, I don't know. I feel like this might be too much for me today. I, I'm, I'm, it's too much. Okay. Anyways, let's cleanse. Let's cleanse. We're cleansing. Mods, don't let Looney be too nice to people like that. I know. That's why Eagle and Tony are here. And, you know, David's also too nice. <laughs> David ain't gonna be like, <laughs> He's gonna be like, <laughs> David's a, a sweetheart. <laughs> uh, okay. So, chat, this is what we're gonna do instead. I feel that. It's okay, though. I, 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 you know, I need all different kinds of mods. Yeah, David the good cop is true. Uh, here we go. So this is, this is what we're doing today instead. I'm sorry. I was sitting there waiting. I know. Eagle bad, he don't even care. Eagle bad cop in a good way, yeah. And Tony gives us massive <laughs> virus leaks. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, so I'll, I'll, I'll package it all nicely together. This is I'm Chaotic Good. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, Origin, thank you so much for the five months. I really appreciate it. Holy moly, five months already. Your positivity and bright personality and energy are always such a treat and are definitely a few of your many strengths as both a streamer and as an individual. Oh, thank you so much. Looking forward to what will most definitely be an incredible 2024. Origin, thank you so much. That's really, really sweet. I really appreciate the kind words. That's really fantastic. You're, you're wonderful. Thank you so, so much. Uh, so yeah, we're doing this instead today. Uh, is building those better than buying the pre-made statues? Um, they have a different quality to them. Uh, like it, like it's some statues like might be about the same quality, but I feel like it's fun to, it's like a fun activity. You get to as assemble it instead, you know? Uh, here, let me, I will post, I'll make an update post. Oh my God. I, at least to Instagram. Okay, just kidding. I needed glue for the other thing. So we're gonna be doing this instead. Say hi to the chat. Hi chat. Uh, so yeah, Nezuko model kit and said, sorry for the debate. <laughs> Good enough for me. Where's my captions so people can say this, uh, whatever. Not her yapping live on stream, I know. Okay, uh, captions, hello, captions. This is my life. Hi me, hi. Okay. Uh, good. Oh my gosh, wait, look at this. Look at this auto autocorrect. Nesico. You see that? Nesico model kit. Nezuko. Done. Done. Uh, you. And good. Okay. Nespresso chan. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, I actually watched the first two episodes, Flemmy. I've watched the first two episodes of Solo uh, Leveling. It's pretty good. I'm excited for more. Just hide in the box? True! Okay, do I- am I gonna care about wanting to, like, sand this? I don't feel like busting out all of my stuff. I live for looning going hard on chat, by the way. It doesn't happen often, but it's great. Listen. Mother Nature's around the corner, so I don't, I'm, I fucking, I don't give a shit right now, okay? <laughs> if you couldn't tell, if you couldn't tell, that's when I draw the line, all right? Like, I had lost all my shits to give. They're gone. They're gone. Come back in a week, all right? <laughs> it is just how it is. So, these are the, the things. None left. Get out, chat. <laughs> no fucks given. And I mean, honestly, I'm glad that I have these moments sometimes because I, I'm like, no, I need to be saying this. I need to call out people when they need to be called out. And that was one that I could not not call out. Like, sometimes I just, you know? <laughs> Hi, Shoguni. Thanks for the 31 months. Hi, Miss Looney. I hope... Uh, you have a wonderful night. It's always so cozy here. Even with the occasional troll in chat, I always enjoy my time lurking. Number one streamer on Twitch changed my mind. Oh, you're too sweet. Thank you so much. Seriously, I really appreciate it. Um, do we need the box? <laughs> Usually I do uh, these type of builds in my... What's it called? dining room manga shelf area i watched the first then started finished the manga before the second episode it's going to be a really good series i actually have the first and second volumes and i'm like ooh, should i read ahead or no i don't know sometimes otherwise great people have to be checked back into line two that's just how it be i know she's staring at me watch out brother <laughs> are you talking about her nezuko chan Okay, yes, read it, give in. You think so? Sometimes I'm like, I don't know if I should read something or just like experience it as it comes out. You know what I mean? 
Okay, so I'm familiar with doing this stuff. These are easier for me to follow, typically. Um, where should we start? These are all the parts. Yada yada. Do 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 do. Explanations. We could do the head first. What do you guys think? Head first? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, what a way to start the stream. Sorry, chat. <laughs> Sorry, but I'm not, you know? I had to be done. <gasps> Wait. Hold on. That can't be mine. <laughs> this can't be mine. I refuse to believe it. One second. Oh my god. Eh. All right, my box full of goodies. Okay. Whew! Oh my god. This was on my uh, TV stand next to another model kit. And I don't want to talk about it, but <laughs> this one has seen better days. This is, uh, this one's safe. Okay. This is where all my Gunpla stuff... Okay, well, I'm, since I have this here, I mean, I might as well... I haven't touched this in like forever. Oof, it stinks. All these varnishes and stuff. Blech. Blech. Okay. Uh, glad you're streaming tonight. Yeah, for sure. Well, I hope all the best. All the best for tomorrow, brother. Everything will be great. Right. What happened? Guys, <laughs> I need to like get off the internet for like three days, probably out of the month. Because I went off on YouTube comments yesterday too. <laughs> After stream yesterday, I found other ones on the same video and I couldn't help myself. I just couldn't, cause I just couldn't. <laughs> I was like, okay, typically like, as a YouTuber, I don't really like like clapping back at people in comments too much because I don't want to like waste my energy. But at the same time, people be leaving YouTube comments like as if I'm not a person, you know? Let's see it. Let them have it. <laughs> we, we don't need to see that. Like they respond, they like comment on a video like I'm not going to read it. Like as if I don't read it. Like She's just another Twitch streamer that just does it for the easy views. Ugh, what an easy life. <laughs> I go, okay. Um, what is your problem? It's not like she's even good at the game anyway. It pisses me off. Why are you watching? I can't believe someone would say that's cool without understanding the full context and hasn't played video games that are 20 years old in order to play this random DLC that came out for God of War. Like, bro, it ain't that deep, okay? It's just not. The God of War fans are annoying. Cause they're all like, man, you really need to play all the ones that are 20 years old, bro, in order to appreciate this DLC, bro. And I'm just like, I really don't. <laughs> I really don't. I don't fucking care. Like, like, why are you watching? <laughs> oh, staycation time? I have a good anime I just finished I could recommend. I actually started an anime chat. I chose one, and I'm sorry to say, I didn't start free ring. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hulk Looney Smash, I know. I love everyone's gamer professor voices. Always accurate. I know. Well, I already watched the two episodes of Solo Leveling, so I loved those. I really, really did. I'm really excited for more episodes. Um, but I actually started Code Geass. <laughs> I know, like, the thing is, I found the comments. Eagle, t like, I can't, bro. I fucking can't. Are you telling me you won't? You won't? 
A video from over a week ago to give commenters what for? Wait, what? <laughs> huh? <laughs> what? Dub? Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm listening to Ichigo, you know? Yeah, I'm watching Dub. It's pretty freaking cool. Oh. Okay. So, we're doing the hair first. Oh my goodness! Wait, why did that happen twice? Why is this happening twice? What's going on? Oh my goodness, okay, I, I don't need two. I don't need two of those. I have double of so many things. Holy, yo, okay, first, I wanna make sure that Lil' Trix's 100 bits didn't get overshadowed, okay? Yay for Looney and chat and mods. Thank you so much, Lil' Trix, I appreciate you. And Rich Team, drop in 20 gifted subs, like what the heck? Thank you so much, I really appreciate it, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh my goodness, if any of you guys got a gifted sub from Rich Team, please be sure to thank them. Thank you so much. He's posting Andrew Tate videos. Oh my god, it makes sense. Dude! Oh my god. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. <laughs> Seeing someone being as Pepega as we were playing the game back in the day, bro. Yeah, we had, I had, that was an experience and a half. That's for sure. Okay. So, we're, we're starting on the hair. This is supposed to- oh, I see. There we go. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Um, so yeah. I think I'll- is Free Run, like, ongoing right now? Like, there's episodes coming out actively? Because if there are, I feel like- if I'm waiting for solo leveling to come out, if I'm waiting for free run to come out, maybe I'll wait for free run to have like a season completed at least, and then I'll check it out. A lot of people mentioned Apothecary Diaries too, by the way. I just made a tweet, the, in case you guys are wondering what the heck I'm talking about. Um, I tweeted the other day, just like mentioning which anime I'm caught up with and what I'm watching. And um, I was curious to see what everyone was gonna recommend. Um, I am gonna watch Oshinoko. Wait, is are there more episodes for Oshinoko? Slotted for 24 episodes, okay. Apothecary Diaries is so good. Yeah, I've heard a lot of people mention Apothecary Diaries and Free Rin, and a few people mentioned that Mashal one, which I only heard of for the first time in stream the other day. Mystery solved. <laughs> oh God. Uh, gave a series for episodes. You give a series for episodes, that should be enough to let you know how you feel about it. Yeah. I mean, I give it- I give series more than that, <laughs> to be honest. I'm generous. Okay, is this it? This is A5. Oh. Oh! I'm supposed to go here. I'm going like this. Oopsies. Okay, no wonder I'm confused. Okay, A4. Trigun? Oh yeah, I actually do need to see Trigun. True. I want to see that. Um, you're right. Okay. Like that? Okay, these need to come off. Like. <laughs> Hi, Wolfrain. Thank you for the 100 biddies also. Just a quick reminder, Link's Awakening cover drops Friday. That's right. Yeah, see, I need to get rid of, like, this crap. Uh, yes, chat. I have a new cover dropping on Friday. Since I call everything Link's Awakening, Cyberpunk's about to be called Link's Awakening 2. Um, fr so Friday. The song is actually gonna be of Greedy. So I would love it if you guys could pre-save it. There it is in the chat. Thank you so much. Uh, so new song, Friday. Noon, Cyber Link's Awakening. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. You guys see what I'm even doing? I hope so. Right, you can see I'm putting her hair together. Why greedy? Just curious. Because it's number- it was at least number one global charts. If I went to Spotify, and I go to charts... Charts. It might not be right now anymore. But top songs global. It's number two now. Whatever La Diabla is, overtook it. 
I know Grady's like a little older now, but it's like three months old. But I love that song. It's so fun. It's such a fun song. Fun song. So I'm excited. Yeah, we dressing up her hair. Oh yeah, we need to get rid of this too. Like this random. It's a little unfortunate her hair is black and my mouse pad's black too. So everything's just kind of not much of a contrast. Just pre-save, thank you! Yay! Uh, what, wait. When are we starting Cyberpunk's Awakening? Probably. Ooh, this hair like moves, cute, but for how long? If not tomorrow, the day after. It all depends, because like I said, I feel like sometimes I just need to not be on the internet, because <laughs> I know I'm just gonna be hella pissed at the world. <laughs> oh god, so, we'll see, we'll see. Okay, one, two, three, Four, five. Follow the numerical order. What? I think I did okay. Yeah. I'm not too sure what they're trying to tell me here. But I think we're doing all right. Okay. Next. Aw, cute! It's her, the mouthpiece. I enjoy the rage, I know, but I don't know how many people do. <laughs> I don't know. <sighs> Phantom Liberty, I have it. We have Phantom Liberty, so we will be playing that as well. Hello, Red Squirrel. Oops. How's it going? Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Remember who else we mod for and it makes sense. <laughs> oh man. Cute! This is the little bamboo. Isn't that freaking adorable? It's so small. Like a whole runner just for that. I do, but my instinct is to poke at it and sometimes that's not for the best. Uh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah, low par! It's a little snack. <laughs> Oh. Okay. Uh, trying to get as close as we can here. I don't really want to have to sand any pieces because I'm feeling hella lazy, so... I'm gonna just try to be real clean with this. Eh. Got it. This is a Nezuko model kit. Do I care about that? It's fine. Look how small! So tiny. My hands look so red. <laughs> we're, yeah, we're building a Nezuko model kit right now. We were going to do a book nook, but I don't have the correct glue for it. I'll probably have to look for them. And then, I don't know, I might build the book nook off stream. Like I said, it might be a bit more of an intensive thing to build. And so I might need my, it might require my full attention. So. Um. Yeah, low key looked overwhelming, I know. So I don't know if that's something I actually will be able to do on stream, just simply because of like how intense it kind of just seems. So. But I will definitely show you guys once it's done, whenever I happen to work on it. So look, we have little stickers, we have the skin, and other pieces. Yeah, for sure. Being able to chat and do that might have been a little... Oh, my title still says Book Nook! Oh my god, embarrassing! Ah! Okay, 
I am not building a book nook. Building a ah, Nezuko model kit. Okay. Thank you, Lily. Oh my god, I'm all over the place here. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Streamer not changing title. Uh. <laughs> Everything is going wrong. Okay. Chat and wiring lighting. I don't know. Honestly. What the heck? This looks like a little bow, doesn't it? Might be a little too bright. Hmm. Um, ooh, also, those gifted subs will be counted towards 151 packs. I will, as long as this doesn't take me too, too long, I'll open those packs uh, as well. So every three gifted subs, I'll open a 151 pack. Okay, is it this? F2, yes. Uh, I don't even know if my mods can change the title, actually. I don't know if we have that set up. I'm not even sure. Eh. Alright. Surprise, Pax! Surprise! Alright. So it's like this. And I need a red piece. So first, I was supposed to do this first. H1. H1. Set title testing? I guess not. Cause I don't think that did any. <clears throat> That's all right. I'm a big girl. I got it. <laughs> Yo, Jorg! Or is it Jorge? I don't know. George? George, perhaps. God, please let me know if I'm saying your name wrong. Please be sure to correct me. Thank you so much for the Prime Gaming sub. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so very much. Welcome, welcome on in. It's good to have you here. It's probably the second one, George. George sounds right. I think there is an editor option to update stuff for you. Yeah, there is also a possibility that I could have it disabled depending on, I don't remember if I had it enabled or not. Oh, look at that! Cute! So small! You know, I've been wanting to do a model kit for a while now. Like, I was actually just thinking about it, so... Low-key blessing in disguise? Alright, so this is supposed to fit... in here. It just... wasn't meant to be, I guess, the book nook. Probably need a super mod or whatever it's called. Mm. Both ways are correct? Okay, George. Or whatever, I guess, whichever you're, you're comfortable with. But I will do my best to remember that. But it's good to have you here, thank you so much. Um, bro, I actually didn't even realize that there was like, like super mods were a thing. <clears throat> Super mods. Yeah, I actually didn't know. <laughs> Alright. So this is her, like, chin? I'm not too sure. It's part of her face. We're putting together her face right now. Squeeze that in there. And then... There we go, it's nice and snug. Cause see, like, I'm so used to doing model kits where you don't even need like, I mean, I have the tools that I need for it, like, but you don't need glue, you know? That's how it's looking right now. And this goes into the head, I guess. Really? Okay. Trusting the process, trusting the process. Why does that look so weird? Trust it, Looney, trust it. Is this like too much? Ooh. 
Looks kind of overexposed-y a little bit. That looks fine. That's fine. It's okay. Uh, so now I need a6. 7. And a6. So this... Is supposed to go in here. So chat, what happened today? Anything interesting to talk about? What are we talking about? What are we yapping? What is there to yap about in the world of the living? Any yap topics? Okay, cool. Not bad. Oh. It's not too bad, it's coming through. You found a nickel? Wow. Congratulations. Any yapics? High was 32 today compared to the negative temps yesterday. Oh, dang. Looking up. Yeah, I think, um, I mean, I think it's supposed to start getting a little warmer for, in SoCal. I know, you know, it's SoCal compared to the six feet of snow in other areas type of situation. But the last week was pretty cold. We went to a bomb taco truck. Let's go. That's always exciting. Nice. Runner done. <laughs> Easy. I've seen more car accidents the past two days than all of last year. Well, hopefully that's all the car accidents you'll see for the rest of the year. Jeez. Hi, Starbuck. Welcome on in. Welcome, welcome. And... Okay. Cute! Just like that. This looks so overexposed, but it's all right. And then her hair goes over. Let me cut these off. Adorbs! Clean my car off of snow twice today? Oh my god. First time was six inches in 27 Fahrenheit. Second time was two, but in 15. The 15 was a lot harder even though there was less snow. Ugh, that's annoying. That's so much snow, dude. Jeez, sucks. Um, yeah, this is fine. Just her little hair to go on the front. Like that. Pretty cute. Nice. Okay, well, her head's done. Easy. Oh, no, it's not. I lied. She has a pink bow. Really? Oh my god. It's like the tiniest piece. The tiniest little piece. That looks wild without the reservoir. <laughs> I know, it kind of does. <laughs> like, it just looks so chaotic a little bit. Wait, when does more Demon Slayer come out, by the way? Forgot about it a little bit. The only time I miss Florida, or at least Orlando, I miss living on the East Coast all the time because of beach. Damn. Yeah, snow, it's beautiful to look at, annoying to live in. Look at how tiny this is, by the way. This is what I have to cut out. Training arc movie next year, maybe? Ooh. Next year, as in 2025? Fudge. It's a decent way away. Okay, let's make sure we don't cut off something we're not supposed to. Yeah, ice is awful. Uh, all right, so this tiny little thing is supposed to go like upwards. I'm just gonna buff out that little snippety snip snap. convenient this shit is. Q! 
cute. Ta-da. Very adorbs. <laughs> she just looks like a spider head or something. Like, this looks crazy. All right, the head is done. Levi Mousepad finally got delivered. My sister started opening it, seeing AOT, and thought I can bring this to work until she saw his juicy booty. <laughs> she really saw this and was like, I could bring this to work. <laughs> oh, that's great. Or I guess she saw she saw this. And she's like, ooh. <laughs> Psych. Oh man. That is too funny. Yes! <laughs> oh, that is hilarious. I love that. All right. Time for the body. Amazing. They'll do a movie and probably break it up into episodes like with the train arc. Aw, I mean, I guess it's fine. I suppose. Oh, I like when it was colored. <laughs> Me. Oh well. Uh, I feel like that's gonna be crazy though. Demon Slayer. Pretty crazy. All right, we need D four. Wait, no, D two first. Let's go. Speaking of mouse pads, you too can get a Lunity mouse pad. Join the Looniverse. Yeah. Join us. Oh, holy bows. Look at all these bows. These are all bows. Oh, to go on the back of her shoes, her feet leg warmers. Oh, holy night. Number two, D2. Where's D2? This? Really? Okay. All right, if you say so. Mud flaps on your truck. I personally like using it as a yoga mat, so it's pretty great. Oh, April 2024, Hashida training? Pog, okay. That's a lot sooner than I expected, or than I eh, thought. Because if we were talking next year, I was like, man, that is so long from now. Get it close enough. Cutting these with the god hands is always so satisfying. It's so soft. Full size yoga mat, that's right. Okay. So. This is D11. So this has to go into here, apparently. Looks like this. Into here. Cool. Spy Family movie in Japan opening week made 19 mil? What? I didn't know there was a movie coming out for Spy Family. Holy crap. Is that good? <laughs> I feel like that sounds pretty good. I wonder how much Slam Dunk made in Japan. Cause I feel like that must have made, like I don't even have a word for how many millions that must have made. Good question, right? It's going good, fishy flaps. We were gonna build a book nook thing today, but then I didn't realize, I was trying to look all over for the box because I didn't open the box and I, I was trying to look like, okay, requires materials, blah, blah, blah. 279 million worldwide. What about in just Japan though? Jesus, 279 million? That Lunity mouse pad is so nice. I have moons all over the place in my corner. That would fit perfectly. Actually, I think uh, they might be 20% off on the Design by Humans website right now. 
They might have a 20% off uh, sale going on. 112? I can read. 112 million in Japan. 15.74 billion yen. Wow. That is crazy. Also, I'm not surprised. This looks like a hobby I could spend so much time and money on. Yeah. Be careful. <laughs> Some model kits are really great, though. If you ever end up getting into model kits like Gundams and stuff, um, I highly recommend getting, like, high grades because those are, like, the easiest and it's, like, very good entry model kits. Um, you just need to get yourself some nippers, which is these things. These ones are the god hand ones, which are very expensive ones, because I was getting really into it. Yeah, slam dunk is a big deal. It really is. Hi, Sakari, by the way. We're chilling. We're chilling. Having a good time. Sounds very berserk like God Hand. <laughs> it's literally what it's called. <laughs> it's amazing. I remember when I was first getting into Gundam, I was like, God Hand? What? That sounds crazy. I need it. Okay. Uh, on to part number two, C4. We're adding some color. Yeah, this model kit's gonna be done pretty quickly, I feel like. It's not gonna take too long. This model kit was the most expensive one out of all the three so far. The Tanjiro, the Rengoku. I feel like I paid too much for it. But at the same time, I was like, I need this. I started watching this gag anime with a, a pr about a princess who got kidnapped and tortured with food. What? How do you find these, Shinalko? <laughs> do you just like scroll on like Crunchyroll or something and you're like, hmm, what looks good? <laughs> is that how you find it? You're just like, let's, let's see what this is about. <laughs> I ran across it on Crunchy, bro. That is hilarious. That's weird. Was it good? Those are the ones that are like five pages deep on the list, right? <laughs> the ones that like no one's ever gonna find. Except for Shinalko, apparently. <laughs> uh, okay. There we go. Snappy snap. Ugh, that could have been cut cleaner. I don't wanna have to bust out my X-Acto knife. Uh, whatever, it's fine. Suzume's, uh, Suzume is, well, wait, by the way, is Suzume an isekai anime movie? Mm, no. Hi, hijinks. Yes, we're chillin' making Nezuko. Dude, my shit is so overexposed. What the eh? Um, it's too overexposed. How do I? I don't even know how to fix that. Hang on. Uh, unless. I just turned down the amount of light. No, because it's either way, it's just so bright. Like, it's, it's literally just a white blob. There's like too much light coming through. I don't know. Anyways. It's scuffed. Everything's scuffed. It's fine. It's fine. The mouse pad even looks good on an overexposed camera. <laughs> That's crazy! It's fine. 
Uh, Suzume is really cute though. It's like, I think it's from, made from the same person that did your name, right? Question mark? Uh, just found out about, about another spy manga called Mission. Yoza Kura Family. Seems pretty cool. Spy manga? Cute. Sounds really cute. I like spy stuff. This is like super random. But like... <laughs> just on the topic of like spy related things. What's that movie with Steve Carell that spy movie like <laughs> cause that shit was so was it Get Smart? oh my god that movie dude that movie was so funny to me you guys remember that? I think so? oh it's based on a show from the 60s really? I didn't know that I thought you meant Threat Level Midnight Get Smart is definitely the one. What the heck is Threat Level Midnight from? My dad loved the original Get Smart show. Cute. I, just, I remember seeing that movie like in theaters or something. Man, I haven't watched a movie in theaters in a bit. I watched a lot of the original show as a kid with my parents. Nice. You remember the original show? Cute. Crazy. I wonder how similar it was, because I had ne obviously never seen it before. Just seems like goofy, funny. Funny, goofy type of thing. Similar sense of humor. Nice. That was a fun movie. Okay, maybe I should do this here so you can see what I'm doing. Very similar type. What are some movies that are out right now? I remember we saw a trailer for that Beekeeper one. Yeah, are there any movies that are coming out that are worth watching, chat? What do you think? I feel like movies are still trying to figure their shit out after COVID and the strike stuff, right? Oh, you saw it? How was it, Bosti? Was it good? It was entertaining. Yeah, like when we saw the trailer, it, it gave me John Wick type of vibes. Is Saltburn out in the US? That's quite popular over here right now. Uh, what's that about? Or what's, uh, what is Saltburn? I, I saw one person mention it on social media today, but I didn't know what it was. And like, it was like a poll on Instagram. They were like, have you seen Saltburn already? I feel like I'm the only one in the world who hasn't. <laughs> I was like, hey, what, what is this? What is that? Next Spider-Verse movie? Oh, When is that supposed to be? It's on AMZ Prime. AMZ Prime. I honestly don't know what new movies are in, even in theaters right now, right? The only one I, I know about is the Beekeeper one, and that's because we did the bounty for it, that's it. It's a bruv movie? Oh. Is it Prime? It's really fucking weird though. Is that on Netflix? Well, why is it weird? Oi, bruv. I haven't gone to a movie in years. Dang. The Boy and the Heron! It was pretty forgettable? Oh, really? Oh, shit. I was about to be excited. Damn. Was it? Well, that sucks. Alright, another runner done. Cool. Well, maybe I'll like it. I don't know. Warning for weirdness. No boilers. <laughs> okay. Now I just want to know what's weird about it. I don't even want to watch. I just want to know. <laughs> oh shit! I forgot. I have cafe. At coffee at midnight. Sure. Why not? Fuck it. Tay was saying it wasn't a movie to watch with her parents. Wokage. One of those, eh? One of those. Numb. It's like midday for you. 
True. I'm gonna be up for another six hours. It's fine. <laughs> What's up, Mo? It's good to see you. How's it going? Welcome on in. Uh, let's see. Where am I at? This? Oh. I guess it goes all the way here. Okay, well. It's alright. It's not even prime time for Looney yet. I know. We're, we're, we're just vibing. This is, this is early. Basically morning. Hope everyone's doing well. Same for you, Mo. Same, same. Same, same. Hope all your book stuff's been going great, dude. What's up, slaying it? What's up? Welcome on in. We're having a chill stream today. Chill vibes. We're making a Nezuko model kit. Yeah. Her, her head is over here. <laughs> She's looking a little crazy right now. Um, so H2. And now I need to get G1. Can't wait for your new song. Oh, thanks, Mo. Me too. I'm really excited for Greedy. I really, really am. Um, chat. I was this close, this close, again to considering yes and to cover, but I, I, I was this close. I, I was. I just keep teetering back and forth, and I'm like, uh. <laughs> Song is just not it for me personally. But part of me is like, uh, but it's new. But it's new. Okay. <laughs> Professional model builder right there with the clippers. <sighs> A fellow model. Oh, wait, Shinako! Thank you so much. A fellow model doer. <laughs> I feel like if you know, you know. Shinako, thank you so much for the 10 gifted subbies, dude. Appreciate it. We'll put those towards the Pokemon pack openings after we finish this. I just want Pokemon cards. Thank you. Thank you so much. I don't have a whole lot of, uh, I don't have like a massive amount of 151. I think I have like, well, I'm doing it every three subs because 151 is expensive. What is up, Keith? I think I have like enough for like 70 something subs worth. Just a, a mental note for myself. I like how model do ourselves. <laughs> oh my god. Modelist. Model doer was not the choice. Okay, that, that was not it. <laughs> <sighs> yes, yes. E2. A doer of models. I think Looney needs to learn the lore of Greedy before she sings it. The lore? I already know the lore. Because I watched a video. I went, I'm telling you, I went down the rabbit hole. I went down the Tate McRae rabbit hole. Um, which I feel like her story is very interesting. I, I kind of like talked about it a little bit. Uh, like the other day, but like she was like a dancer first, and she just like I think her mom is like a dance instructor, but she's been on a few um, like dance competition shows, and she was making YouTube videos. Um, I think YouTuber. I mean, she might have had like TikTok, but she was definitely like OG on YouTube. She's nineteen, by the way. Yeah, she wants So You Think You Can Dance Canada, I believe, yeah. And I think multiple times, potentially, even. Which is insane. Um, so she's, like, really good at dancing. And, um... Hey? Oh. What? Like that? I think this is just supposed to sit here. Awkward. Um, yeah, so she was, like, making YouTube videos. 
and she would just post videos of her like writing songs. And she like wrote so many songs. Um, and oh god, I have to do stickers. Apply stickers before assembling. Okay. Sticker time. Crap. I didn't bring out my tweezers for this. Are you gonna dance for the video in a hockey rink? No, I already filmed the video. It's, it's you know, it's not a, on location or anything. It's just in the apartment, as per usual. Man, I don't like putting stickers over this. It's gonna make it look so corny. I always prefer like the look of like when it's painted on. Okay, well, I'm just gonna have to. Huh? All right. How long does it normally take you to film the videos? Um, well, it's very convenient to film them at home. Um, it depends on the song. For whatever reason, with this song, I couldn't remember the first line for, for so long. I kept like mixing it up with the line later on in the song. So I had to do so many takes because I kept messing up. And I was like, oh, it's fine, I'll just, I'll just edit it. <laughs> we'll edit it so that it, you know, we'll use the takes that I did them correctly and, you know, whatever. Movie magic, poggers. Um, but I feel like it takes like for filming. The thing is, I have to like set up my area, set up all my stuff, do my makeup, my hair, and then I, I want to say like an hour and a half to two, depending. Maybe not. But this is like total, like filming uh, guitar shots, bass shots if we want those. It's not too bad. Stuff like that. And then, it's a lot of like the social media stuff of it takes a lot of time or is more time consuming. Having to make uh, the thumbnail, the Thumb the thumbnail for Spotify, thumbnail for YouTube. Um, TikTok video, the YouTube video. All of that. Ooh, I hope this is going on right. I'm gonna go ahead and hope that it is. Um, but yeah, I want to do, I want to try to have more music come out this year. It would be nice. Yeah, Headless Nezuko. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know if I want to put the stickers on this, y'all. I think I might skip on that. Because, like, it's literally just a green sticker to be put onto the green part. And like this already has the detail. If I put the sticker on it, it's just gonna lose it. So I'm gonna pass. I'm passing on those two stickers. Time to whip, whip out the 100 color paint set. I've actually never colored any of my model kits. I always wanted to. And I even bought like, um, certain like coat stuff. How the heck? like matte varnish stuff. Yeah, it's awkward, right? Okay, I don't know how this is supposed to just stick in here. I think I just shove it and it's just gonna stay. How many of these models have you put together and how often do you do this? Um. I've done a lot more of like the Gundam ones in the past. I used to do these a lot. Like there was, I think it was like the summer of 2019 when I was 
super into Gundam. Like, super, super, super duper. Like, I had a lot of model kits that I would buy, and we would be going out all the time. Like, my friends and I, we would go out, look for model kits, and we would, like, get together and do model, like, Gundam in my living room and watch The Office. <laughs> it was, it was so chill. So we would all be working on, like, our own kits and stuff. It was really cute. Yeah, it was super duper fun. But, um, I want to say I've done... What now? I've done over 10 kits for sure. I don't know exactly how many, though. Like, maybe... Maybe even 20, potentially. I'm not super duper sure. But some of them were, like, really time-consuming ones. And some I, like, a few I've done on stream. But yeah. Sounds like a chill sleepover event. Dude, for real. Yeah. Wild, I know. Um, but there are different, like, levels of difficulty that some of these are. This one, I'm, I'm not, like, going super crazy on. I'm being, like, super lazy about this. Like, I could be sanding these. I could be using my X-Acto knife to really, like, cut them down, but I'm, I'm being, like, hella lazy. I'm being hella lazy. Did I get my keycaps on my keyboard? I didn't, but I haven't had the time to put them yet. I wanted to do it today so I could show you guys, but I didn't find the time. Sadly. Yeah, so like if I don't clean it up, like you can see the nubs like that, and I'm kinda, kinda don't like. But in order for me to really clean this up, I need like, well. That's already so much better. So if you remember what that looked like 10 seconds ago, versus now. You can barely tell it's even there. That's the difference. I bought my first perfect grade Gunpla a couple weeks ago. Oh, snap! I'm excited and a little intimidated to dig in and build it. Which one did you get? That's really hype. Perfect grades are serious. Like, those are intense. You're gonna love it. I remember I was working on my perfect grade Exia kit on stream, if I do recall. Ooh, a stray red frame? That's hype. Is that the one with the freaking katanas? That one's sick, bro. Oh. Oh. Hell yeah. Nice. I have, I think, a master grade version of that. That I can't remember if I worked on on stream or not. I feel like I had to. When does the next season of DS even come back? Demon Slayer? Um, I think someone mentioned April of this year, potentially. I feel like I'm gonna have to take a month off work to do it. Yeah, seriously. Yes. They take so long. Like, I remember working on my Exia lighting kit, and that shit took me weeks. And that's with me sitting here on stream. I hope it's soon too. Yeah, I don't know how people do like the tiny painting, like with Warhammer, like it's so minuscule. That's really impressive. April will be spring anime. There's already an insane lineup for it. Hit me with it, what's coming out? Press down E2 when attaching, okay. Got it, so E3 is next. Rip. Uh, thank you, the dong, thanks for the kind words. I know, mad respect for model painting because that is so, like, such tiny, tiny details, you know? So small, so tiny. He painted our D&D minis too, that's cool. That's sick. You have to use, like, the tiniest little brushes. <laughs> yeah, I always wanted to paint, like, a model Gundam and make it like super cute, like pink and purple or something, instead of like red, white, and blue. But I can't be. 
I'm lazy. <laughs> Can't wait for the next part of the Bleach Thousand Year Blood War. Me too. I just caught up to it uh, the other day, so I'm like, oh my gosh. I'm excited. I think he has like magnifying glass and tiny brushes. Cute. I love it. I love it so much. Some people have like really intense setups for this shit. Like they have like a spray painting. This is more so for like the model Gundams, I guess. So they like spray paint their pieces before putting them together and such. And such. Um, so they have like a whole like little mini booth for the spray paint and everything. It's pretty intense. All right, this is where we're at. E4. I know, you know. The season two cliffhanger. <gasps> Yo, Sentient Tentacle, thank you so much for the raid. How was the stream? Welcome on in, raiders. I hope you had a great time tonight. We are doing a chill stream today. Oh, thank you so much. Also to Jay Shay with the eight months. Welcome back. It's good to have you here. Thank you for supporting the stream. Thank you, thank you. Hey, yo, it was wonderful. What were you up to? Destiny. Let's go. We're doing a Nezuko model kit right now. If you are unfamiliar, it's Nezuko from Demon Slayer. Her head's over here. She's a decapitated... Maybe I, I could probably assemble her head right now, but maybe it's a little easier because I don't have her body in the way or anything. But this is what it looks like. This is what we're currently working on. Zen, thanks for the seven months. Yo, hope everything's going well. Thank you. Same to you. Thank you, thank you. Played a bit of D2 and some of the finals as well. Oh, nice. Very nice. Yeah, welcome on in, guys. This is what we're up to. We're just vibing today, honestly. And we're gonna open some Pokemon packs later, too. Every three subs, we will open a 151 uh, Pokemon pack. I have a bunch, or I have a few, rather. Here we go so far. Let's see. Anime list. Demon Slayer. Some of these, I don't know what they are because they're the, the Japanese name, and I only know them by the English name. So I feel kind of... Oh, I'm not caught up on my hero. Free run part two, I think? Or I don't know what that is. Mm. Yeah, I feel like I don't know what a lot of these are just because I don't know the English name. Or I don't... I, I would have to, like, look at it based off of the picture and I'm not very good at that sometimes. <laughs> English name should be under the Japanese? Oh, sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. Uh, some of these are so long. Oh, Mission Yozakura Family, that's what uh, someone in chat mentioned. Mm, Black Butler, there's more of that coming out? A lot of these I've never heard of before. Oh, wait, Kaiju number eight? <gasps> what? Isn't that really good? Uh, okay. The Fable, what the heck is that? Three Monster. Girls Band Cry, what is that? I don't know, Matt. I'm not really sure because we're going to be diving into cyberpunk. And when I start a playthrough, I usually like to stick to the playthrough instead of switching between stuff a lot. So, but yeah, if I scroll, scroll down further, I don't know. It doesn't say the English name anymore. Good night, Aaron Soar. Thanks for hanging out with us today. Yeah, I'm excited for it. I'm excited and nervous at the same time. A lot of them will be the new 12 episode animes. The new 12 episode animes? Like they're just new seasons of new stuff? What the heck? Might be the first time I actually care about spoilers. Oh, for Cyberpunk? Oh, have you not played it, Mugen? Oh, snap. Dang, that's crazy. That's a lot of new anime, damn. I have not yet. Oh, shit. That's the only thing. I've been playing a game, or I've been playing like games or a game that has been 
out for so long, I don't have to worry about people worrying about spoilers as much. Going back to playing new stuff, people have to worry about spoilers again. Sag. There we go. Her cape thingy, robe thing, thingy thing. Ah. I just have to trust that that's gonna stay. Hi, Tentacle Bro. You're welcome. This year is pretty heavy in anime. I'm excited. Hell yeah. Yeah, the DLC as well. I will be check. I have that. I will check it out too. That looks like it's. It doesn't look super like tight, connecty. Like it looks like there's like like you see how the wait no that's not even. I mean the fact that I can just see the crack in general feels a little concerning, but. It's fine, it should be fine. All right, what's next? Eh. Her leggies. I could just put her head on so she doesn't look well. Ah, uh, I'll do it after her arms because her arms are gonna have to go in places and stuff. Never mind. Uh, I did get the Phantom Liberty DLC along with the game, so we can check that out. I'm not sure. Is Phantom Liberty like a post-game thing? Or is it like... You do it whenever. Without spoiling anything, because I haven't played it already. During. Interesting. Not the answer I was expecting. Okay. Well... We got it, so go check it out. Oh, really, Mo? Huh. That's kind of nice, then. Not a post-game thing. Sick. All right, cool. Yeah, we'll be, we'll be, I'm sure, we'll be playing Cyberpunk for the next, uh, <laughs> solid bit because I am familiar that the game is a long un, so we'll be busy for a bit. It'll just feel like it's all main game probably. Yeah, I probably won't even be know the difference. <laughs> I'd imagine. Um, okay, so these, we're doing her right leg right now. A knee. Oop. I got it on Steam. Cause I got it on my I had it for the PlayStation at first, and then I was like, wait. <laughs> I got it for like a, a really good uh sale um physically. Uh and then I was like, wait a second. I suck at using a controller when it comes to FPS games. And I was like, I should probably get this on the PC instead. <laughs> so, waited for like a, a decent sale to pick it up. Cause that would be a disaster otherwise. As per usual. <laughs> uh, it's big if you make it big. I explored every nook and cranny, so it's big for me. Yeah, people were saying if I just, like, did main story that we could finish it in, like, a significantly quicker amount of time. So we will see. Ah. Might want to do some testing with settings beforehand because it's tough to run. Mm, okay. Um, what kind of... I'm, I'm always so afraid of doing tests and, like, checking settings and stuff because I'm always scared of, like doing something that I'm gonna miss or spoil myself on or whatever, if that makes any sense. Like, I don't wanna miss a, like, intro screen or something. <laughs> that kind of crap. But all the side content! I'm sure we'll look at a lot of side content. It is us. Okay, so the leg connects to, uh-oh, 
Okay, no, it's fine. This connects to here. You can also work on the settings with us once you get started, but you'll definitely need to mess with them a little. Okay. Oh, not my favorite thing to do, but I'm sure it'll be necessary. I'm assuming if I would have just played it on the PlayStation, I probably wouldn't have to mess with stuff as much, huh? But at the cost of not being able to aim. <laughs> so I think it'll be worth. No. Way easier with stuff like that? Dang it. If only there was a way to like use mouse and keyboard on a PlayStation, that would make <laughs> that would make things so much easier. Drats. Pretty sure you can. How would you do that? No aiming would be amusing though. Oh my goodness. With some games you can actually. How so? Ran great on my Xbox at launch, but I've heard PC support has improved a lot. Yeah, they've, they've mentioned a lot of things about PC support over time, which has been nice to hear and to see. But... Blast my aim! <laughs> okay. One of the craziest PC games to run, but also looks amazing. Um, well, I have a 3080 and I don't know what else it would require on top of that. Plug your keyboard and mouse into the USB ports on the PS5. The console should automatically activate and recognize both devices. To change settings on both, go to settings devices. I wonder if that's game dependent though. Yeah, for sure, Mo. Thank you. Hi, Connor. Hi, freaking sir. Hi, Lux Ray. What's up, guys? Hi, Mrs. Sizing. Hi. <laughs> what's up? What's up? Good night, Vim. Sleep well. Have a great day tomorrow. Thanks for hanging out with us. I'm doing okay. How are you, Connor? Thank you, Vim. There's a Reddit post of someone saying it doesn't work on Cyberpunk, though. Aw, oh, damn. That's too bad. It's okay. It's okay. Yay, I'm glad to hear it. Didn't the PS2 have a keyboard you could buy specifically for it? <laughs> Did it? Dang. I would need a mouse though. Cause that's how I would have to aim. All right, D, oh my God. D5. Putting her foot together. You just attached it to the remote. What? Damn. Uh, I have school tomorrow, but I don't want to go to bed. Uh, I know. But then future you, when you get enough sleep and you wake up in the morning, you're gonna be like, good job, Cell. <laughs> it was like texting in the early 2000s. I feel like I might briefly remember that a little bit. Like, it's a faint memory. You literally can't even see this. It's just like a blob of, like, l white, blurry, overexposedness. <laughs> yeah! Blackberries were so, like, in back in the day, you know? Back in the day. <laughs> After T9. Okay, stickers, ew, ew, that tiny trackball button, I know, <laughs> what's your BBM, is that the laundry tooth, stop, <laughs> ew, no, don't do this to me, <laughs> pretty much though, actually, I hate that. It kind of looks like it. I'm still gonna be pissed after drive to school. Ugh. Okay, well, I can't help you then, brother. <laughs> You're on your own. Every few months, so you don't forget. Seriously, I would have long forgotten about that if it weren't for you meddling kids. Like, dang it. 
All right. Look at that. Look how cute. There's one of her foots. Her feet. The feetsies. It's so cute how it's like put together, you know? Oh, I don't want to do the sticker. I just don't think it looks good. Oh, I was supposed to put a sticker on the top as well. You know, I, I think I'm just not going to. Because what purpose is that? I would literally not even be able, the sticker is supposed to go on top of this red right here. Like, for what? You know? <laughs> Sounds low key creepy. I am okay with putting the stickers on top of this though, because it's just white, so that'll add a little bit of detail, I suppose. So, sticker number five. Alright, YOLO! I feel like the stickers are always like the most stressful part of this stuff. Is it gonna look good? Um, am I gonna put it on right? I don't know. Okay. Like it. It, eh. <laughs> it looks so much better if it's painted, but I don't have paints. So we're just gonna. Kinda like press the sticker into the grooves so that it has some of the depth and the detail, I guess? I feel like that, that's not too bad. It's doing the job, but if you look like a little closer, I don't even think you can, like you can see like the bend of the sticker just doesn't look that great. But there's not much you can do about that. I've just downloaded Pokemon Go again after seven years. Just found a war turtle on my driveway. Damn, okay, that's kind of hype, actually. <laughs> I, I, ironically, I haven't walked anywhere since I re-downloaded it. Nice. Gotta get to hatching those eggs, brother. Chop, chop! You just missed an event. An event just ended today for, like, fairy Pokemon. It wasn't, like, an amazing event or anything, though, so. But it was probably sitting there for seven years just waiting for you. Just waiting patiently for seven years. Just waiting. <laughs> okay. Can't even hat hatch a seven kilometer egg though. Dude, I'm so annoyed at that thing. Like that event, the, the, the hatch. Pokemon for the challenge thing. That was so... I feel like that was so cap. Like, who who out there actually got to do that and accomplish that? I just want to know. My highest Pokemon was a 150 Hypno? Girl! <laughs> Shoot, you about to just catch something higher than that in the wild next, honestly. Okay! One foot done. Is done. God, this lighting on this. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Um, connect that to the leg, and it looks a little funny right now because <laughs> it's missing like the white. Uh, string or rope pieces on her leg. Like, her leg looks so bizarre. Good night, Grizzly. Have yourself a great day tomorrow. That seven kilometer egg collection challenge was terrible. Did you even get any, Sakura? Because I, I didn't even realize it was seven kilometer eggs. I didn't even have any, like, room for seven kilometer eggs, even. And I, I just, like, I have, like, six ten kilometer eggs right now. I'm just like, bro. 
Drewsif, thank you so much for the 10 months. One month past sub baby pog. Let's go. The sub baby is one month old. <laughs> thank you. How are you? How's it going? Hi, Sam. Which gunpla is this? Ne Nezukocha. <laughs> it's official Bandai, which I really have been liking these kits. I've done the Tanjiro, Rengoku, and now Nezuko. Which my Tanjiro and Tanjiro's right here. You can barely see him, but he's there. Rengoku's on the other side. I hope they make more. Like I want a Zenitsu one and I want an Inosuke one too. Like. Every so often, I'll like go to, like you know those stores that just have like figures or like Japanese, just stuff in like malls. Sometimes they like carry these model kits and I'll like see one and I'd be like, ooh, what do you have this time? Zenitsu would be day one buy, I know, seriously. Uh, are these difficult to build? No, not at all. What's great about these is you just need like uh, like, nippers, clipper thingies to, like, just cut pieces out of the runners, the plastic runners, and then you just snap them in. You mean a hobby store? Uh, I guess? But it's not even necessarily a hobby store, because sometimes it's, like, specifically... <laughs> it's what they're called! They're called nippers! <laughs> yeah, a Tangan one would be really cool. That would be super cool. So, like, here... I just cut this piece out, okay? This tiny piece. And then it tells you where to put it. So it says, put it here on the leg. And you don't need glue. You just do that. That's it. It's on there. <laughs> you need some nippers. I always feel so awkward saying it. And then there's gonna be like stuff in the back to connect. It's gonna be like the bows, so. Never heard anyone else call it that. I don't know, it's what they always call it in like, uh, I don't know, Gunpla videos and stuff. Clippers, I guess, is how you would say it otherwise, right? You set off my Siri somehow? Oh, crap, that's, Interesting. <laughs> I got two but needed a togepi and something else, and I forgot to collect the rewards for the other- No! <laughs> Dang it! Oh heck. Wire cutters? It's not even a wire clipper, though. Like, I don't even think this could cut a wire. It's just- it says plastic. You know? I call those clippers, I guess. I'm saying people near me say it. Oh, people near you say it, just not anyone from West or East Coast. Interesting. Do I have any gunpla? I do. Um, I have some over here. Little baby ones, like I have real grades that I did over here. And then I have a lot in like my living room in a glass uh, display thingy. Side cutter. Interesting. We used to call strip clips strippers. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Interesting. But yeah, it's just like these are specifically for like the plastics. Yeah, it's made for this purpose. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I guess we could call them plastic clippers. How about that? Plastic clippers. Because the other one is just awkward. It's just weird. So yeah, these, it's just so easy. You just go. So yeah, I've done a few Gundam kits, which I really like. Oh yeah, I have these. <laughs> I actually have another, I have a Zaku Hello Kitty that I've never done. Could have done that today too. But I was like, oh, let's do Nezuko. I bought Nezuko a while ago, meaning to do it, and then we ended up uh, opening Pokemon cards for six hours, so... <laughs> it just didn't happen that day. Stop. <laughs> Flickers. <sighs> yeah, Looney Gundam. All 
right, this is looking a lot more like, like it's making more sense. And then we just have to add the bows on the back. Which are all in neatly in a line. Cute. All right, so we need three of these. One, two, three. There we go. We add bows on them. This is so cute. Look at that. Adorable. Cute, cute, cute. I got my brother a perfect grade gunpla for his birthday and it took him so long to put together. How long did it take him? Because technically, I'm still not even done my Exia, guys. I never got around to like panel lining it, which is like coloring in or adding like accent lining. Just like coloring in the lines so it looks a bit more like cell shaded, I suppose you could say. No, I didn't. And I never put the stickers on it either. Panel lining is some of my favorite things to do with Gunpla 2. It just makes it look so much more detailed. I've been playing a lot of the new Prince of Persia. The gameplay is giving Hollow Knight, just in an uh, Arabic, I always say that word wrong. Uh, Arabic setting, did I say that right? I feel like I said that right. I always mess that up. Okay, I hope this is right. Cause it looks like there's like a little bit of a gap here, but I don't know if that's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and hope and assume that it's fine. Cause what else am I supposed to do? Over 24 hours? Shoot, if he did it in just over 24 hours, I'd be impressed. Cause perfect grades take a long time. <laughs> basically, Mo, you basically are. So that game is just about you. <laughs> you are in that game. The game is Mo's, uh, Mo's story. Okay, leg done? Yes, so our, the right leg is done. Bow. Ta-da! Now we just do that again. Yeah, perfect grades are gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. And my perfect grade was gifted to me from one of my subs, actually. I had it on my wish list for a long time. And then it just showed up one day and I was like... <laughs> I was so stoked. I had never been so stoked. Price is well worth it, right? You know what I really wanted for a bit, chat, and I was really close to wanting to get? They made like this uh one one of like the Gundam kits, like like an actual like metal of sorts. Looked gorgeous. Hella expensive. I also don't know, know how you would assemble it if it was made out of like metal. I think they still have them. I think so. I just have no clue how much they go for. And I don't know how people, like what tools do you use for that? If it's metal. You know? Next leg. Next leggy leg. There we go. Cool. Next. Uh, do you ever wonder who spends their time to paint all of these? Well, these aren't painted. These are actually like, this is an entire thing of plastic. So the plastic itself is already the color. 
you know? So nothing's painted. Nothing needs to be painted. Some, sometimes people paint stuff like a different color if they want like a different look. The painted bits and when board games companies, oh, board games come painted. Oh, I mean, I thought you were talking about this right here. When toys are painted. Yeah. I have no idea how that works. The plastic is painted. Eh. Whatever. Bro. Is it though, or is the plastic just dyed? Like the plastic was this color and made in this color. Metal Earth models? Which ones are those? Is wait, is that an anime? Or is that like a I know I don't know if I know what that is. Plastic is not that color naturally. Right, but is the process called painting? I'm just being annoying. Um Okay, me goes into this one. I'd say it was dyed instead of painted. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was saying. I think it was dyed too. <laughs> is dyeing a, a form of painting though? This is the type of stream this is gonna be today. <laughs> Plastics were such an incredible invention, but man, did we make some boo-boos with it? Ugh, for real. For real. Alright, leg is coming together. Alright, the foot is next. They're just mod metal model kits? Oh, that's what it is. Oh, damn. Okay, I didn't realize that was the name for it. Cool. Yeah, I wonder if those, like, if you need to use different kind of clippers for that shit. Plastics, often known as resin, have an almost colorless appearance, milky white. When making plastic goods of a variety of hues, colorants such as pigments are mixed in through the manufacturing process. Coloring may be done either from the outside or from the inside. There are the two main coloring procedures. The surface of plastics can be colored using an approach known as external coloring. Printing, coating, and plating are all included in its scope of use. Notice how it didn't say painting. Take that, Mugen. Nuke was like, all right, hold my beer. Um, wait, oh, okay. The other piece needed like a brown component to this foot, so. I cannot hear cars outside, it's finally peaceful. Silent night. Lovely. Sounds pretty chill. It didn't say dying either. <laughs> it didn't. <laughs> uh, that's funny. <laughs> I rest my case. Uh, chat. What, do you think I'd like Ace Attorney <laughs> games? I've never played one and I've never watched a gameplay of one. I like my mystery stuff. I feel like, I don't know. Okay, what's happening? I'm not gonna put the sticker on the shoe again. Oh shit, wait, what? Do I like solving cases? Yes. No clue. They're basically visual novels with a little bit of lawyer work stuff. Mmm. 
Well, uh, one of my subs added me on Twitter to somebody that was like, I think there's like a try, like a trio release of sorts for the game or something. Um, or something like that. And, uh, so I wrote them because they were like, DMs open, blah, blah, blah. People are interested. And I was like, fuck it. I'm going to freaking try it out. Maybe some Ace Attorney games in our, in the future, perhaps. Remaster Trilogy. Yes, I think that might have been it. Okay, sticker time. this one. I mean, we played Steins Gate, visual novel. Wouldn't be our first time. That means more loony voice acting poggers. <laughs> oh boy. I think it'd be fun to play at least one of them. Could be interesting. Hi, Twisted, or Twisted. You think so, Mo? We can test our lawyer abilities. Don't you have to like also like, isn't it also like detective work maybe if you have to solve a case? The song is lovely. It's pretty chill. It's called Headspace from Stream Beats. You played the first one on GP. What's GP? <laughs> oh my god. On a stool, uh huh. <laughs> Let, let's highlight that aspect, because that is. <laughs> oh, Game Pass! Got it. I think it'd be fun to try out one of these days. And I think I feel like it's the type of game where you could probably just like stop at any point, like after a case or something, if you're not vibing with it or whatever. Just being practical, you know. <laughs> hmm. Lawyers don't solve cases, they present them. Okay. Well. got nothing. I got nothing for you. Okay. I have a Nezuko foot. That's all I got. Isn't there like a lot of Sherlock Holmes adventure detective games? Are there? Because I feel like that would be cool. I feel like I love mystery, like who done it stuff. And I feel like I need more games that are like that in my life. There are? Those are fun games. Are they? Nancy Drew puzzle games were pretty fun for me. Needs to find a local hobby shop for why? <laughs> what do you mean? For what? The voice actor streams on Twitch? Really? Oh, damn. L.A. Noir was a great game of that type. Oh, I remember hearing about L.A. Noir. Yeah, that's, that's a, a bit ago now. Since I've heard of that. Make sure I don't mix these up. Sorry. The best detective game? Ooh. That's kind of a big 
deal. I feel like I was looking for something like that, you know? When I was, when we ended up playing Alan Wake, I wanted something like detective-y. Or mystery-y. Judgment games. <laughs> Alan Wake 2 is Detective EE. -E. Uh huh. <laughs> uh huh. Yakuza Universe. Hello. That sounds fun. We need to play the Yakuza games too, but that's already on the list. I have a Naruto board game, but it's Monopoly. <laughs> it's just Monopoly Naruto. <laughs> I think I have, I might have Naruto Clue too, actually. <laughs> the 90s had the best and the worst adventure games. Are, wait, are the Sherlock games from the 90s? Legend of Zelda and Dragon Ball Z Monopoly. Nice. But I can never play them because no one wants to play Monopoly. <laughs> no one likes Monopoly. And I'm sad because I'm like, I, I like Monopoly. I genuinely don't understand why people like Monopoly. I don't know. It's just a, a board game, and I like board games. Oh, they're from the 2000s. Oh, you don't like Clue either, but Clue is fun. <laughs> okay, all of these look like they don't connect. Are, did that do that with this too? Uh, kinda. Not quite though. Oh, I mean, it looks fine on this side, but then if you look at this side, it's like, oof. I guess that's the side that you, like, it's on the inside of her legs, so you're not going to notice it as much. Okay, is that done? Bow on the back. Yeah, yeah. All right, her legs are done. Um, there we go. Wow, that actually stands? We're getting there. It's pretty good. Just bad game design poop. <laughs> I know, it does cause too many fights and it takes forever. Respectfully, it sucks. <laughs> I don't remember the last time I played Monopoly. Uh, like actually, I have no idea. Does, like, it's been so long, so I can't re remember. But is there like a way to come back in Monopoly if like you're behind? But I feel like when if, 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 if you like, I don't think so, right? Because if someone has the, a, a Monopoly, then it's like, well, GG, you know? What the hell is this? Oh, it's a foot thing to, it's like a foot stabilizer to like guarantee she's not gonna fall over. I'll just cut this out so we can get rid of this runner. I think I just don't get to play board games very often, so I am just down to play anything. <laughs> like I will play Monopoly, I don't care. Just to feel alive. <laughs> to feel alive. I mean, obviously, <laughs> there are better board games out there. They are so fun for friend bonding. I know, but when your friends have kids, sometimes it's really hard to make that happen. Or when your friends have wonky schedules and they work all the time or <laughs> you know being adults am i right you can sell your properties and stuff and rebuild your empire it's possible 
Hey, oh. It's possible. It's not so bad if you drink. <laughs> there you go. Problem solved. Okay, E8. 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 I'd rather just drink. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I love Ticket to Ride. That was cool. That was pretty fun. It was chill. That was a bounty, too. That was fun. I like that bounty. I like when there's, like, really, like, you know, bounties that are really enjoyable to me. I'm, like, sick. The problem is Looney waking up at 7 p.m., not the friends. I wish that were true. <laughs> It's I, actually ironic because uh, me waking up at the time that I do is almost perfect because I have a friend who works like really early mornings, so they're available, like they're they're asleep at night, like by 5 p.m., which is unfortunate because then we have like a small window in the afternoon where we can hang out. <laughs> And it's like, dang it. Um, yeah. For a couple of subs, wait, for a couple subs for Monopoly chat, Century Spice Road. Uh, I really like Century. I don't know if it's the same as Spice Road, but I have like a golem one. It might be the same thing in just a, di a different um, format with like gems and stuff, but it's like cards and you have to buy stuff. Yeah, I like the Golem edition. I brought it over to Canada. Not the last time I went, but the time before that to play with my parents. Cause I was like, fuck it. Let's play some board games with mom and dad. And they really liked it. They actually really enjoyed it. I'll be honest, chat, I am a Monopoly fanboy. I have collected them for years. <laughs> How many Monopolies do you have, Shinoko? Uh, oh, Snook. Do it, bro. Who's stopping you? Good for you, Kiri. <laughs> you play Monopoly Go? What the hell is Monopoly Go? Not enough. I love that. Do you have Sailor Moon Monopoly? I know that's a thing. Better say yes. Better say yes. Do you have the Naruto Monopoly? I wanted to get it, never did. Aw, it looked so cute. The Sailor Moon Monopoly looked adorable. Her hand. You can even see like her claw, you see that? Yeah. Disney Monopoly played that a lot. Nice. Freaking nice. Uh crap. I think GameStop still has a bunch of Monopoly, but I'm not 100% sure. Dang. The history of Monopoly is interesting too. Started out as a tool to show Monopolies are bad for everyone. Oh, really? It was like a, like a, a diagram of sorts or something? <laughs> this makes a whole lot of sense. <laughs> uh, that is funny. Okay, this is her right arm yes yes i love that shinako is just like guys i have to confess <laughs> the history of monopoly can be traced back to 1903 
when American anti-monopolist Lizzie Ma Maggie created a game that she hoped would explain the single tax theory of Henry George. It was intended as an educational tool to illustrate the negative aspects of concentrating land in private monopolies. She took out a patent in 1904. Her game, The Landlord's Game, was self-published beginning in 1906. Maggie created two sets of rules, an anti-monopolist set in which uh, all were rewarded when wealth was created and a mo monopolist set in which the goal was to create monopolies and crush opponents. That's an old game, bro. I did not know it was that old. Sheesh. If the official rules are followed and not adding any of the popular house rules. I don't even need to know. Or I don't even know the- I haven't- it's been so long since I've played, I don't even know what the rules are. <laughs> That's too funny. I wonder if she made money off of it. Then they took the Monopolist rules and sold it and made a ton of money. So are you telling me she didn't even make- Did she not make anything out of that? I swear to god. Those type of stories always, always make me so sad. When it's like, somebody comes up with idea, bigger company steals idea from small person, and then they make a crap ton of money, and then small person doesn't. Oh boy, here we go. The Parker Brothers bought the game's copyrights from Dar Darrow? Uh, when the company learned Dara was not the sole inventor of the game, it bought the rights to Maggie's patent for $500! Alright, first of all, was that Maggie's choice? Because Maggie, I swear, swear to God. I'm trying to. 500 in 1903 though Okay, but how much have they made this entire time though? Like 20k now versus the millions that they made though <laughs> The best player piece is the dog true that BGG has monopoly rated at 4.4 <laughs> <sighs> That's funny. Like Maggie. Lizzie McMaggie. I don't think Maggie cares, she's dead. Well, I'm caring for her, okay? I saw a documentary of someone suing the board game company for actually being the original inventor of what, Monopoly? The fuck? It's the <laughs> the saddest made no money story for me. Wait, the saddest made no money story for me is the guy who sang Bittersweet Symphony made no money on it, basically. Why? The McDonald's story makes me really sad. Do you have, have you guys seen the movie The Founder? Made me sad. <laughs> Monopoly go to number one family app. <laughs> about the coffee? No, about McDonald's. I've seen clips of it. It's on my to watch list. I would say it's a pretty good like docu movie thingy. But it made me feel bad. Made me feel bad. The coffee story is sad as well. Oh no. The court case for DMCA killed the group. Bittersweet Symphony used a song that used a Rolling Stones song. I don't know if I'm if I even know what Bittersweet Symphony is. I'm sure if I heard it, I knew, but I don't. Right, I don't know it by name. Hi, Taco Bean. Hi, hi. Uh, yeah, Maggie could be a 120-year-old billionaire. She could have been. Her family could have been rich as fuck. 
Yeah. Uh oh, th thanks, Drunk Magic. That that's so helpful. <laughs> I, I I suddenly recognized it. <laughs> oh yes, Kara. Perfect. When that takes you to the places where all the veins meet, that sweater. What? I don't know what you're saying. I am unfamiliar, I guess. Someone gave me a board game printed in 1897. How did they find that? Seriously. What the heck? Adam ruins everything. Did a whole thing on the coffee lady. Oh, like a YouTuber? I really like, I don't know. Like random history stories about like food and stuff like that is so interesting to me. I'm like, yes, tell me about the history of how coffee came to be. <laughs> he had a, oh, a TV show. I just assume everything's a YouTuber now. If it's like this name that I'm unfamiliar with, I'm like, oh, YouTuber. <laughs> Got it. Goats? What is that, Snook? Okay, we're almost done. Then if you look into the detail- wait, basically a woman was burned- Oh, right! By her McDonald's coffee and got 2.9 million back. In the day, it was used as an example of frivol frivolous lawsuits for years? I feel like that was recent. The coffee was found to be like 20 degrees or something hotter than it was supposed to be. That was years ago? 1994? Why do I feel like this happened, like, five years ago? <laughs> no, Mo, don't do this to me. <laughs> Was there another thing about this happening? I'm time traveling. Because memory is a funny thing. Because people sue McDonald's all the time. Yeah, maybe there was, like, another incident more recently. There had to have been. Wasn't that recent I felt pain in my chest? I swear there was a more recent incident of someone suing McDonald's over a hot coffee incident. I swear. Can someone Google? Because I can't right now. Most recent McDonald's hot coffee sue. Probably because people started talking about how McDonald's marketing department warped it a few years ago. Maybe? So it like resurfaced the... the thing? Okay, chat, I think we might be done actually. By the way. It only- it's only recently gotten out how in the wrong they were. Oh, well maybe that's why then. Maybe that's how I've heard of it. There she is! She's done! That was pretty fast. Like two and a half, two hours to do. That was a really fast kid, actually. Ah! This is supposed to help her stand better. GG's. On May 10th, 2023. Okay, that's too soon. A verdict rendered by a jury found that McDonald's and a franchise holder were held responsible for the injuries sustained by Olivia Carballo, a four-year-old who suffered second-degree burns from a McNugget? What? A chicken nugget? The story is that coffee was discovered by a dude who had goats and ate berries from a certain tree and they would be way more energetic than normal. <laughs> really? Oh god. Yeah, she's super cute. So now I can put her next to my Tanjiro and my Rengoku-san. That's the popular story. I know, I'm like, how do you get burnt by a chicken nugget? Is it because she's four? And I don't know if four-year-olds have less tolerance to heat or something? That's cute though, this is really cute. Very nice. Dude, the way, like, olden days 
stuff, like how food came to be, is like the way they just were like, fuck it, let me taste it. Let me try eating this and see what happens. Like with milk or with like cheese and like butter. Like, let me eat this fermented thing. Like, how do you know it's gonna be good? She had health issues for the rest of her life. Oh my God. <gasps> oh my God. Dude, that's so fucked. Okay, no one eat that purple mushroom and killed Henry. <laughs> right? Like, the fuck? Coffee was crazy hot. They got in actual trouble for that. Well, yeah, seriously. That sucks so bad. I didn't know it was that bad. I often wonder how humans first discover the stuff they eat. That's what I'm saying. That is what I am saying. All right. We did it, Chatterino. Good job, everyone. 89 degrees? Celsius? Nah, fuck that, dude. Holy crap. Yikes. All that woman wanted was her medical bills paid. She didn't want to go super crazy. Well, did she get that? Like, was that able to be taken care of in the end? Third degree is unimaginable. I, I can't even, Im I, yeah, I literally can't even imagine the level, the degree. It was 2.9 mil. Did she get 2.9 mil out of that? Cause bro, okay, I didn't even, I brought all these out and I didn't even end up using them. It was a brave man who, shut up. I don't even want to read that. That sounds gross. <laughs> Okay. No, I know. I mean, nothing is. She asked for 20k, McDonald's said no? No? Yeah, degree, right? Dude, that's actually so effed. That's messed up. Now I have little plastic pieces all over the place. Let's open some Pokemon packs. Reminder, every three subbies will open, I'll open some stuff, but hey, I think since we're doing some unboxing related things anyways, <laughs> let's look at this. Let's check this out. Ultra Premium Collection. I haven't opened this yet, so I don't even know what's in this. Um, okay, no longer opening Pokemon packs. Smile. What a pretty box. Do we need to change the mood to hype? No, I don't have the energy today. <laughs> I don't have the energy today. Ooh. We're still chilling. <laughs> Look at that. It's, it's already, okay, well, I guess the plastic got a little cut here. Oopsies. It's all right. I've seen prettier boxes. I'm sure you have. Being chilly. Okay. So, yeah, I guess I must, I don't know if I cut this somehow when I was like opening my package for this. Ooh, it feels like matte and really like soft. I like it. How do they do that? How do they make it that way? Yeah, don't worry, box. We think you're beautiful. It's so soft. It almost feels like velvety. The fuck? How do they do that? Damn, Pokemon. All right, let's take a look. Let's open it. Wait, Mo, have you heard of this new game that's coming out? It's like, what is it again? Pal World or something? Apparently it's, it's just inhumane Pokemon. Which makes me sad. <laughs> it makes me sad. Ew! Oh, this is different. Whoa! 
Look at that. What a package. It has the Mew with the thing in the background. It looked pretty wholesome. The trailer was not wholesome. It was very much not. Yeah, technically, that is true. So we have some, so a couple of Mews, and then this is a Mewtwo one. Very cool. Okay. Yeah, it's, po it's like Fortnite and Pokemon. So we got some packs in here. Ooh, wait, this comes with a mouse pad or a desk mat? The heck? I didn't know that. I didn't realize that. I'm gonna have a hard time getting this back on. It's like Ark or Rest with Pokemon, actually. Oh, okay. Oh, cute. This is really, really cute, actually. But as you can see, not as big as the Lunity mouse pad. Shoot. <laughs> Very cute. Crazy. Time to roll it back up. These are so expensive. They are, I got this like forever ago, but that's why, I, uh, that's why I'm making it like every three packs for opening a pack. Cause your girl gotta cover her costs a little bit. She gotta cover her costs a little bit. I love the idea of Pokemon inspired games, but without guns and multiplayer. Yeah, you know. I always wonder like how, how do people get away with um, some of their designs of like some of the Pokemon? Like I feel like you have to be so careful in designing like the monsters or whatever you want to call them to not like get, you know. Yeah, no, I, I understand that, Mo. I for, I for real understand. Crap, I didn't get, I didn't do it tight enough. Because... <laughs> I always wonder... Like, how how do people get away with this shit? Like, it's so borderline looking like... Other Pokemon. And such. Yeah, the mousepad's pretty cute. Sorry, I'm trying to, like, re-roll this, like, super tightly so it fits into this plastic casing again. <laughs> Pokemon Monopoly? <laughs> uh, oh, actually, this is like something I always wonder. Um, but uh, I don't know if maybe Mo might know the answer to this, but like when people do fan art of like Genshin or anything and people sell the fan art, is that like legal come on looney or is it just not and people just do it anyway <laughs> that's very dangerous ground right it's so common that it isn't stoppable it's technically not legal but the companies almost never enforce it interesting I always wondered like how like people always make like stickers of like anime stuff or like anime merch with like just straight up you know like characters on their stuff and I'm like how are you doing this or am I just blindly blind to the world <laughs> okay I I shouldn't have have unraveled it I can't put it back it's so close. It's so close. <laughs> uh, technically it's copyright infringement, but companies probably know it's not possible to stop, so they just take the free advertising. Okay. They probably make more in that free advertising than they do if they were to try to stop people. But I don't even know if that's like even the point. Like if money wasn't the point, they would want to do it for like... Oh, I got it. The message. Or whatever. 
depends on how big of a business it is. Oh yeah, true. If it's like a really big business doing it, then it's probably like more like, okay, no. Cause like sometimes part of me is like, what if I had like a character from an anime commissioned for an album artwork? Like, am I gonna get in trouble? But if it, you know, not to say that it's something I should be doing. But if it's one of those things and it's like, straight to jail! <laughs> but, you know. I hate that Square does not push to have their soundtracks more accessible. Mm. <laughs> Will I get in trouble versus is this legal? Yeah, you know. Toho is very strict. Looney's going to prison. <laughs> Looney jail, Sag. If you make millions, probably. Right? And then, and then it's like, you know, which has a high chance of happening. TBH Slay Queen, Slay. <laughs> You're so sweet, Mo. <laughs> uh, it's annoying when games don't have their soundtracks on things like Spotify. Uh, well, now that actually has me wondering. Can I even cover the Final Fantasy VII song if I were to do that? Because... I didn't think about that until, like, right now. Stream the hearing, yay! Woo! Alright, what else is in this box? Fit, damn it. Too chunky. More time for her to make music in prison. I don't know if, if Square is known for striking covers. Okay, I just wasn't sure if it would like be an issue with like, why would it be different from any other cover? I don't know. Uh, Glorine, thank you so much for the 22 months. Welcome back to the universe. So good to have you here. Thank you. Uh, I wanna get these out of here. I just was like thinking like, what if, uh, ooh, so it's like in a little package like this. Like, if I would even have issues, like, getting a license for it for some reason. Aw, oh, this little Mew coin. Okay, I'm just gonna leave everything in here because it looks nice, and I'm gonna put it back anyways. In, like, this plastic packaging shit. Okay, well, this. Oh, that's just the bottom of the box. Okay. I was like, is this something else in here? But this is the box. Cute. So it's different from, like, the Charizard one that we've seen before in, like, the Zamazenta. And, uh, what you can call it. Cute, cute. Ugh, I don't want to ruin this. So. What is it held on by? I don't want to ruin this! Ah! Oh! Oh! <laughs> is it just like this? Whoa, wait! This one doesn't even have a covering to it. What? I don't even know what I'm doing. What am I, how am I supposed to take this out? How the shit? Oh, okay. There's one. <laughs> have you seen the new boxes that are going for like 500? What new boxes? The heck? Yeah, the answers to these questions are so muddy these days because the things that do don't get enforced are so random. I know. And it would really suck to just get, like, caught doing, you know, this. I guess I'll say. Oh, sh Oh, shit. Yeah, those. Damn. YouTube's pretty fire. The one I didn't want? I don't know. I think it's just because it was so expensive and I didn't it get sold out anyways? Dude, I still feel like so uncomfortable about. Okay, what is up with this? I don't know how I'm supposed to get this out of here, but it doesn't have like a slot to get it out. It's just in here. This is like a, like, I don't, I don't, I don't want to ruin it. Am I just supposed to like pry it out of here? Bend the side tabs? 
bend? You're talking to a person who opens a book like this to read it. It's metal? Oh. I was scared of what it was made out of. Hang on. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, wow, yeah, this is heavy. Whoa, this is sick. What the heck? That's super cool. PSA 10 to PSA 9. <laughs> From tapping on it or what? I'm trying to make ASMR sounds here. Yeah, metal cards are really cool. Damn. Okay, well, I'm gonna, I don't know what to do with this. I don't know where I'm gonna put this. Am I supposed to put this in a binder? Where do you guys put your metal cards? Most of the art on my print store could technically get me sued. Really? Mo That's scary, bro. That's scary. But is it, is it? Cause like, if, if it's like of a tree, well, I guess if it's like millennia and then they're like, it's not scary. Okay. Cause I'm not like, you know, I'm not as familiar with doing that kind of stuff. So I'm like, I don't know if whatever. That tree is copyright probably. Technically not actually. I don't get them. Only custom cards I have is Christmas Pikachu and Eevee. Oh, cute. Okay, well, I'm gonna put this back here and I'm gonna figure out what I wanna do with this later. Did you ever have the Mew card they gave out in theaters from the first Pokemon movie? I don't think I did. I don't think I saw the first Pokemon movie in theaters, so. Satch. But I remember like the gold stuff that came out of, like the gold plated cards that came out of what? McDonald's Happy Meals. Dude, this thing feels so good. I, 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 like this box just feels so nice. <laughs> it's so soft feely. Oh, it was Burger King. Nice. I think McDonald's had the plush balls where you could like, it was like reversible, where it was like a Pokeball and then like you zipped it and then it was pew, add a Togepi one. And instead of a Pokeball, it was its egg, and it was my favorite one. And I had a shitty Zubat one. No, I didn't. That was for something else. I just had a plushy little Zubat. Oh, I had a Poliwhirl one. That was the other one. That was cute. I still have two of the Burger King cards. Nice. All right, let's open up some packs. Let's open some packs. Okay. I'm getting so nostalgic, I know. One, two, three. Hang on. I. <sighs> Calculator. <laughs> the zoo best lander is unforgivable. I'm sorry. I, it's just that I was more excited about my Togepi than I was of my Zubat. Alright, we're opening up 12 packs. Hey, yo, monster. Thanks for the 53 months. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome back, dude. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, still have those. We'll save those for extra sub arena. So every three subs, whether they're resubs, gifted subs, whatever new subs, they'll go towards a pack opening. So let's do it. One fifty one. Every Pokemon is someone's favorite. For real. They were like beanie babies. Everyone thought they would be worth more and they tanked hard. Damn, beanie babies though? Did, did those ever make a comeback? Did they? Except the garbage one? I don't know. No? Never? No. Okay, I don't remember what the, um, chat, what's the, uh, what's the card trick for this? Anyone know? Do not invest in that kind of stuff. 
Sometimes people do it because they like it in the moment and then it just doesn't go anywhere and it's not like, you know, worth anything in return. Card trick? Yeah. Where you, is it three? To get the best one. Real life Pokemon Go! Is it one? I don't think there is a card trick for modern packs. What? Shit, what's this? I don't know. Yellow this pack? Oh god. Okay, well, I put three in the back. It used to be four with the older ones. Okay, well, let's just see what happens. Oh, no energy. So if I... Oh, yeah. Oh! Okay, it's one. And it, I got a nice watery shiny energy kind of, well it's not shiny but it's like foily foily water energy pog Boop. growlith geo dude oh yeah this is the 151 so it's like oh geez jigglypuff newer should be all shiny to the back yeah haunter hitmonlee war turtle Nidorino. Is this considered a reverse? I can never tell on the dark. Yeah, it's a reverse. Okay. Uh, Lickitung. And. Uh, Jolteon. Hollow cord. Beanie babies are worth a lot. Anywhere from 20 to 3,500 for starting price range. Really? I mean, I feel like people are gonna care about them now because it's like nostalgia, you know? The nostalgia is strong with that, with the 90s children, 90s babies, collectors. Um, do I have enough card sleeves? I think I will be okay. Nostalgic stuff sells, that's why Pokemons are insane. Yes, precisely. So all of these are foil? <laughs> What's the problem? <laughs> this card is so pretty, by the way. Just have to mention that. All right. No? Ooh. Oh my God, you can't see that at all. Okay, well, let me put this in a sleeve then. Shiny water. Some even go for like 20k. Oh my god. But they have always been worth a good chunk of change depending on which beanie baby you had. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> uh, okay. Um... My reverse pass pile. Okay, Nezuko, you're gonna go here. Okay, cool. Reverse cards will go here. Okay. Next. Next. Doo -doo -doo. I mean, I think a lot of people just buy to collect stuff in general because they like collecting things. And then in the long run, people can like hope that it you know, be can become an investment. And some things are better about that than others, like um, some Pokemon cards and stuff. Did you pull the Mew for one of these packs? I've been muted. Uh, the gold Mew we have before, yeah. But are they buy to sell later or do they actually want to keep it? Well, that depends on what if they happen to change their mind later. <laughs> Sometimes if it's worth selling because it's worth a lot then they could and then keep could be an investment for their future children <laughs> or whatever a family heirloom that gets passed down the generations my psa 10 charizard that i don't have <laughs> all right weedle zubat goldeen ooh weeping bell pincer Bills transfer. Whoa, Golbat. Jeez, that looks crazy. 
Electrode is one of our reverses. I believe the second card, or like this could be like a thing, like a character card. Uh, we got Sand Slash and... Ooh, I think that's debating me out. Weezing Hollow. I had a Beanie Baby that is now worth 125k. There's no way. <laughs> it, was it that specific? Like, was there a specific iteration or print or something? Because what are the chances? What are the chances? Is it a PSA 10? <laughs> How do people grade these things? Beanie Babies. Baddie. Yeah, I'm sure it needed to have been like unwrapped or, or I don't even remember how Beanie Babies came. Like if they were in a box or anything. Was Baddie literally same? Oh, you're a different person. You both had red names that almost looked like the same length. Neckbeard detector. God damn it. Was it made from solid gold? <laughs> There can be no evidence. Ah! Caterpie spoiler. Sweetheart. I love that you just remember. By color. Yeah. People find their childhood Charizard and say, I have a card worth 100k, but it's only a very specific Charizard that was worth that much. And even then, only graded... Yeah, only one graded 10. So I'm like, what if it needed to be the first run of it? And, like, what if it was, like, a specific year, specific event, iteration, you know, all that stuff. Uh, Grimer, Weedle, Ivysaur, Slowbro, Machoke, Nitto Queen. I hate these reverses, because they just don't look like reverses, the dark blue stuff. Clefable, and the freaking border of these cards just debate me now. Cause I'm like, oh, star me hollow. Dang it, we're not getting anything right now. Yeah, David, what the heck? <laughs> uh, did any of my childhood toys ever become super valuable? Gosh, no, not that I know of. I didn't keep anything of my childhood toys that like, you know, Nah. I hate Nitto Queen. <laughs> she, she's pissing me off. No, it's just like the dark reverse. Um, whatever. It just doesn't look like a reverse compared to other cards. They're like more foily. Like this just doesn't look like anything. Chrono Trigger? Um... I would have to find it. But is is Chrono Trigger, like, the game itself, like, expensive? I don't even know. Is there a specific card I'm looking for? I honestly don't even remember what's in this set. So anything would be great. <laughs> Actually, isn't there, like, a... Or no, this is 151. I think there's some crazy Mewtwo's, if I'm not mistaken. There could be variants or different tags, misprints, edition. Yeah, all that shit. All that shit. <laughs> yes, the original Pokemon. How many have been opened? So I've opened three packs and I've gotten three hollows. The only thing I've gotten is like a this, but I don't even know if this is like, I'm not sure how good that is. Crap, what, what did I do? Okay. Charizard is most rare from what I remember in Venusaur, I think. The full art character card thingies. Oh, yes! The full art character card things. Those are so cute. Oh, oops. Yeah, this is supposed to be going like this. Okay. Yeah, there's no way it's unopened. Like, I don't have an unopened of anything. <laughs> an unopened Chrono Trigger case is worth a good amount. Damn. Yeah. Definitely don't have that, unfortunately. Voltorb. Erica alt art. Alright, let's look for an Erica alt art for David. Just so he can be upset when I pull it. <laughs> you got the Giovanni one? 
Uh, I feel like I might have gotten a Giovanni one as well, of sorts. Meh. Wait, oh, that wasn't even the reverse. Oh, wait, what? It okay, is this a reverse or not? No, it's not. Okay. <laughs> Dang it! I just want a character card so bad. And... Uh, every time the border. Aw, okay, Dragonite's cute, though. Pretty cute. Pretty cute. Uh, I still have an, a sealed ancient Mew from the Pokemon 2000 movie promo. Dang, crazy. That's kind of fun. <laughs> I loved the Pokemon 2000 movie. I think I might still have a VHS for that thing. Good night, Gord. Thank you so much. I hope you have yourself a great day and a good sleep. Thanks for chilling. Good night. Good night, good night. As a reminder, chat, every three subs is a pack opening. If you guys want to see more packs opened, there are more to be opened. But right now, we're opening all the ones from the subbies that we got so far. Ooh! A hollow steel energy. Pog. We'll sleep that bad boy. Pollywag. Ponita. I don't think I have this yet, so that's kind of nice. Got Ponita. Pikachu. Farfetched. Seedra. Kabuto. Uh, these are the ones I'm opening right now, yeah. There are more to be opened. I still have other boxes too to open as well. I think it's it's not like a whole whole lot more, but there are more. Dang it! I'm just hoping for something. Ugh. <laughs> Two Starmies tonight. No! This Mew box is a dud so far. What the F? Man. Wait, Monster, thank you so much for the 13 gifted subbies. What the heck? Dude, thank you so much. Okay, okay. Four and a third packs? Is it? One, two, three, four. And a third. So I guess. It, is it? He added to the total? So is it five? I'm gonna need help mathing because my mathing is not mathing. It's never mathing. These are the other ones I have. The 38 should be five. Okay, let me get one more. Um, so I have an Alakazam box and I have this. It's a Mew binder. Um, I'll, I'll open, uh, let's, let's open the binder one first. Yeah, my math just doesn't math. <laughs> Thank you so much, Monster, for those gifted subbies, dude. I really, really appreciate it. it, it, it eh. I really appreciate it. <laughs> I know it's a lot of packaging. So this is the binder collection one. Um, so I'm gonna have an extra binder, I guess. The math ain't mathing. Is it not mathing? We're at 51. What is, what's the math thing? <laughs> what's the math? What's 51 divided by three, chat? Help. Okay. What's happening? I'll deal with that later. 142 packs. That's cute. 17. Okay. It's, it's mathing. So 17. Like I said, I'll deal with that later. Oh, this is so cute. I actually kind of like this a lot. It's got these. And then you have enough to fit some cards in here. This is a nice little mini binder. I wonder if this is enough for like all 151. Or if this is enough for the master set for this. 
You guys think? I don't know, but that's cute. Hi, it's Waltz. How's it going, dude? Did I get lucky so far? No. But we are gonna try. We're gonna try. I was getting confused. Oh my god. Okay, so 17. Yo, Becky! Thank you so much for the six months. I really appreciate it. Welcome back to the Looniverse. It's so good to have you here. Binders are usually big enough for the master sets. Okay, cool. So, five. Now, let me count to make sure that we have 17 packs in total. One, two, three, four. This is five. We've opened. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. All right. So we're, we're on the right track. <laughs> we're on the right track. So now we're one third into the next pack, right? So then it, two other subs will be another pack. Okay. How are you, Riku? What's up? What's up? Welcome on in. Eh. Freaking packs are toit. Now the math be math in. Let's go. Good night, Mugen. Sleep well. Have a good day tomorrow. Psyduck. I'm doing good. Doing good. That means five would be two packs. Correct! That is correct, yes. Tentacruel. Snorlax. Sand Slash. Pidgey is one of our reverses. Our second reverse will be Starmie again. I'm sick of seeing Starmie. And Fudge. Ooh, okay. Arbok EX, this is a pull. We'll take it. I don't think we've seen this yet. Pog Pog. Toit like a tiger. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, Charizard is in this set, yes. I haven't pulled it, but we can sure as hell try. Okay, have I opened? What, what, what? Where are my perfect fit sleeves, damn it? Is it you? Are you the sleeves I'm looking for? What is this? Yes. that there we go i'll put the pulls here <sighs> do i like ramen i do I actually got ramen the other day because i was like man it's been cold you know it's been cold it feels like your girl needs some ramen I, it was just yesterday actually just yesterday do you like ramen waltz i feel like i haven't tried a whole lot of different types of ramen though i've been craving ramen so but ow I forgot to close my head. <laughs> Oopsies. Um, I've been, I usually have like a lot of tonkatsu ramens and I haven't had like different types like miso ramen or like spicy ramen. I'm not big on spice too much, you know? I'm eating those spicy bulldog ramens at the moment. It's so good. Oh my God. I've never tried one of those because I feel like my spice tolerance is so bad. I feel like I would die. <laughs> But it, they always look so delicious, though. Oh, enjoy it for me, please. Hello, Sky Door. Welcome on in. Hi, Maine. Happy New Year. Hi, how are you? Welcome on in. Welcome, welcome. It's good to have you guys here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's like a tonkatsu ramen because they're like the creamier kinds, which surprisingly do not hurt my stomach, and I don't know how that's possible because everything hurts my stomach. Okay, Ponyta. Okay, we have a character card. What is it? What is it? Who's this? Who this? Oh, what? Machoke. Oh, that's so cute. Let's go. Oh, that's awesome. Yo. <laughs> Okay, and maybe something else? A little something else? No? Okay. Ooh, Mewtwo Hollow. We haven't gotten Mewtwo Hollow yet, so I'll take it. This one's so cute! Look how adorable. Mountain ramming. <laughs> what do you mean, few, David? <laughs> how 
slipping Machoke. Yo, Dr. Will with the five gifted subs! We'll add two extra packs. I'll add them to the bottom so we go in order. Boop. Thank you so much for the five gifted subbies! I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, that goes under a poll. I don't know if that's a good way to show it. I had to do thank you. Thank you so, so much. That means more Pokemon cards. Hey, yo, Thrashing Fox with the five months as well. Thank you. Welcome back to the Looniverse. Thank you, thank you so much. All right, to the Hollow Pack with you. Um, I don't remember what type of ramen it was, but the best one I've ever had was in a Sapporo restaurant. If you ever have the chance to go to Sapporo, where where is there a Sapporo? In Japan? Cause like, I showed your, oh, I showed my friends your music and they loved it as much as me. Thank you for sharing my music with your friends. Like that is an absolute honor. Like I, it actually is. Like, I really, really, really appreciate that. Thank you so much for doing that. That's really sweet of you. And shout outs to your friends for liking it. Hell yeah. I know the Mewtwo card looks freaking nuts. Did I finish? A link to the past? I did, Wings. I was gonna, I was losing my shit. Losing it, brother. I was so scared. I liked it a lot. It was a lot of fun, very enjoyable. I was so afraid. I'm assuming you played it, but I was so scared in the Ganon, um, like, dungeon. Because I, I had to, like, one-shot the, the boss. Or else, I, w I just couldn't mentally handle the run-back if I needed to. It was your first Zelda game? Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, I liked it a lot. Oh, I missed the ending. Oh, no. Don't worry, the VOD's gonna be up on YouTube tomorrow. Oh, thank you, Incredibad. Thank you so, so much, bro. Oh, in Hokkaido. I've never been to Japan. <gasps> much love. Thank you so much, Standing Waltz. Thank you. Oh, yes. That's one extra to the counter, which means one more sub and we add another pack to the pack openings. Let's go. Thank you so much, Waltz. Hope you've been fantastic, dude. All right, Pinsir. Reverse Kingler. Another character card or something? No? Okay. Little bro, that's fine. Monster, what? Dude, thank you so much. <laughs> Whoa, look at the Nitto King. Sheesh. That's wild. Thank you, Monster. Add in the other one. Boop. <laughs> that's another pack right there. Let's go. I think. Honestly, after this, I have- I just have four- four more 151, and that's- that's all the 151 I have left. Just these other four. Couch chill time, so no more chatting. All good, Incredibad. Thanks for stopping in and, uh, giving us some awesome, uh, just being awesome. Some nice, positive stuff to hear. <laughs> Also, I haven't gotten on Twitch for a little while because I was busy most of the time. Never got time to do uh, any free time at home anymore. Oh, that sucks. I hope you're able to find some time for you, though, because you deserve it. You know? Everyone deserves some free time to do whatever you want to do, but it's so good to see you. Seeing you here means you got some free time, so that's a dub. Just love pack openings. They're entertaining. Dude, thank you so much. Seriously. Yeah, it's always really fun to see people opening packs. Okay, hang on. So... These are the last four of my 151. Damn. Damn. Ugh. I saw them at Target the other day and I forgot that I had them. Here, I'll put these in sleeves. These are like the promo Alakazam cards for... Aw, that one's cute. I'll show you guys a little closer in a second here. And I will clean this up and later. Future Looney's problem. So we have Abra. Hi, Golden Flea. I just watched your bot of finishing a link to the past. Your anxiety about Ganon coming back was funny. Dude, you don't even. Seriously. It's so severe, you don't even <laughs> understand. I mean, you probably understand, but still. Uh, when do you think you'll be playing. Uh, I don't even know what ALBW is. 
It's basically a less stressful A Link to the Past. Oh. Oh, A Link Between Worlds. I'm not sure. We're going to be taking a break from Zelda games for a little bit. We're going to be playing Cyberpunk, especially after A Link to the Past. Like, I love that game, but it was so hard. I just need to mentally have a little break after that one. <laughs> after those last two dungeons, bro. Your girl needs a freaking moment, okay? Good lord. Kadabra, and then this Alakazam. It's pretty cool. Um, I know a lot of people really like Baldur's Gate. Uh, the thing about Baldur's Gate for me is that I'm not into turn-based, um, stuff, like combat. Um, and I know for sure that that's a very big time commitment to play Baldur's Gate. Uh, this set is Scarlet and Violet 151. Gotta space out the next few games to make the wait for the next Zelda game easier. I know, shoot. Turtle Rock broke her spirit. It's, it's true, it's true. Once I hit Turtle Rock, it was Turtle Rock bottom for me, bro. <laughs> Yeah, Baldur's Gate 3 is like a two month commitment, maybe even two and a half for me, because I like to take my time and all of that stuff. <laughs> I take forever. But yeah, the next playthrough will be of Cyberpunk and it's my first playthrough of Cyberpunk. So. Hi Ryu, it's good to see you. I'm surprised not to see you playing Zelda. This is new, I know, I know. Uh, sometimes when I finish playthroughs, I like to just do like either a pack opening stream to catch up on some packs that we haven't opened um, Or like just like maybe some model kits or puzzles that I have been wanting to do on stream So that's what today was. I was supposed to do a book nook build But uh, it turns out I needed glue for it, which I didn't have and I wasn't anticipating <laughs> for some reason and it was also like really intimidating and kind of overwhelming looking, so I might end up doing it off stream, which I feel bad about because I was all, you know, this doesn't, okay, no it is. And fudge, ooh, okay, Articuno though. I feel like for the longest time I said Articuno. I don't know why. I would always say Articuno <laughs> when I was younger. Um, Potentially, it's potential, well, we could potentially start Cyberpunk tomorrow, aka later today, but I'm kind of anticipating, uh, cramps <laughs> happening, but, um, if I'm feeling okay, then I will be here. <laughs> if not, it will be the next stream, so. But yeah, Cyberpunk will basically just be the next stream, essentially. Uh, I don't like turn-based games, but I loved Baldur's Gate 3 because it's just so well made. But I definitely get that, it really takes a long time. Yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna say I'm not going to play it, because we could just have it on our, you know, we could add it to the backlog. But it's, it is unfortunate because by the time I play it, it's, chances are people are gonna be over it. Um, but, I don't know. My luck hasn't been amazing so far. I've gotten two pulls out of these packs. So we'll see if it turns around. We'll see. Uh, games I'm looking forward to in 2024. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth 1000%. Um, so that will be, we will 100% playing that when that comes out, for sure. We're gonna take our time with it. We're not gonna speed, we're gonna do the side quest. We're not gonna speed run any dialogue, you know? Uh, which I, I noticed a lot of people were bummed that I did in my playthrough. Ooh, shiny fire. Some people expressed that they were kind of like disappointed that I was speedrunning the dial or like the side questing in, um, um, what's it called? In Remake, Final Fantasy VII Remake, because there was like extra story I might have missed and stuff like that. So when Rebirth comes out, I want to take the time with it. Uh, final- I don't even know how you explain the new Final Fantasy VII, uh, combat. It's like- it's like pseudo-turn-based, but it's not? It- I- I don't know. I kind of made it into a turn-based when I was playing it, though, because it's- the combat's kind of overwhelming. But it's still fun. 
and the story is really I'm really excited to learn more about it so uh, Giovanni's charisma I was hoping I was like I don't know if this is gonna be something or not wait this could be something potentially oh is this gonna be a Venusaur wait no wait what oh my god we have an Arbok um we got an Arbok box <laughs> What in the world? That's pretty cool. Full art Arbok, I'll take it. I'll take it. I feel like these, like this art style or whatever, like these versions are hard to come by. This is the alt art Arbok EX? Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. So we, we got the Ar Arbok EX and now we have the full art Arbok EX, I guess. Yeah, I really like full arts a lot. They're fun. Atkins. <laughs> nice hit, yeah! I thought it was gonna be like one of these, but like Venusaur, because I saw the green. Which I've seen a lot of. Quite a tongue twister. <laughs> Pretty cool! So, three hits so far. And... I wonder if it's better if I like show them like this. Just for now. Um, oh yeah, so I'm gonna- I'm looking for- or I- I'm anticipating- or the games I'm looking forward to the most in 2024 are Final Fantasy VII Rebirth and, uh, the Wukong game. Uh, I'm sure there are more, but those are my top two off the top of my head, I guess. Because I've been waiting for the Wukong game for quite a while now, and I'm really excited. Uh, I don't know if you played GTA before, but I wanted to know, have you played Last of Us before, or pl uh, Plague Tale 1 and 2, and are you getting GTA 6? So I've played The Last of Us 1 and 2 already. I know that there's like a remaster coming out for The Last of Us 2, but I probably will not be playing it. Um, just because we played The Last of Us 2 last year, so it's still like pretty recent. Oh yeah, the Elden Ring DLC that, I mean, there wasn't any confirmed dates or anything for that, so if that comes out this year, I am definitely looking forward to that, too. But yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, so I have not played Plague Tale 1 and 2, and GTA 6, I am I feel like I have never played any of the GTA games before. But I feel like I am open to playing GTA 6. Like, I know it's gonna be, a, like, probably the biggest game of that year. So I feel like part of me feels like I should play it. It's gonna be, like, the Baldur's Gate of that year. You know what I mean? So I feel like because I missed out on Baldur's Gate, I should try out GTA 6, maybe? You know? Check it out. Polyworld. GTA Marathon. <laughs> oh god, I don't know about that. Cubone, Sag, and, ah, oh. ooh, Vaporeon, cute, 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 cute. My favorite of the OG evolutions. <laughs> it will come out eventually. Okay, so how many packs have we opened now? Just so we know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So out of eleven packs, we've gotten like three hits, I guess, if you, if you're, you know, counting the way that I'm counting. Any Naruto card openings again? I actually have some coming in. I ordered some. Um, I don't know when they will be here because it takes forever to ship from China. <laughs> um, and my tracking number was not giving me much information, but they, it says it's, estimated to arrive like later this month so yes because they actually came out with a new set um a small set uh but it, it's pretty cool so i'm gonna want to open those in the future any interest in one piece cards um if i was more familiar with one piece i probably would but i know there's like so many characters in one piece it would be I wouldn't be as excited because I wouldn't know the characters, so if I watched One Piece, I would be. Yeah, from AliExpress, so I'm just waiting. <laughs> yeah, there are One Piece cards. Oxy opens them every so often. 
I haven't tried magic, but I used to play Yu-Gi-Oh when I was younger. I don't know Yu-Gi-Oh like rule sets of like modern Yu-Gi-Oh though. Like I have no no way of knowing any of that. <laughs> I did start my One Piece journey, but I haven't um, I haven't kept up with it. Um, oh my gosh! I found myself to like the um the uh the, 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 the. I, I found myself liking the live action a lot and how like the characters were portrayed in the live action um i might come back to one piece in the feet sometime perhaps but a lot of it i was feeling like it was it might not just be for me a little bit so, but it's a little unfortunate because I want to know the story about One Piece, which is why I'm really thankful that the live action exists because I want to know that I have intrigue for the story, but the way the story is presented to me is not my type of thing, is, is the only unfortunate thing. Uh, how about L Lorcana? I haven't gotten into Lorcana. I don't want to get into too many like <laughs> collecting, like card collecting. I don't want to get too much into that because it could just become so much very quickly, you know? So. Hi, Mike! Good to see you. We're, uh, we did a model kit of Nezuko earlier, and we finished that in, like, two and a half, two hours? It was pretty quick. It was pretty quick. Um, so now we're moving on to opening up some Pokemon cards. We're chillin'. We're chillin'. Even Marvel Snap is so much. Are you still playing it, Slay? <laughs> I, I've been playing uh, Marvel Snap while I exercise. It's been great. <laughs> uh, anime is better, no doubt. I wish I could get more into it. Yeah. Yeah, just a heads up, chat. If you want to see more packs opened, I have four extra packs left. And it, every three subs is one pack opening. Because these packs are expensive now. And your girl's gotta even out her costs a little bit, so... <laughs> yeah, I don't have it mentioned on the screen, I'm so sorry. Three packs equals a pack... Or three subs equals a pack opening. Pokemon tool. Oh, leftovers! It's my apple a day! Oh god, the borders always get me, man. Mr. Mime Hollow, how exciting. <laughs> Woo! Gosh, my top five Pokemon? Oh, Wolfreen, are you for real? Goodness. Thank you so much, Wolfreen. What? <laughs> Mr. Mime, no way! Thank you, thank you, thank you! We'll add those three to the list. So there's one, one pack remaining. One unclaimed pack. Thank you, Wolfreen. Uh, Mr. Mime, no way! Top five Pokemon for me. Oh my god, that's so... <sighs> Top five Pokemon? Okay, let me think about this. This might be tough. I'm gonna say... Dedene? Gyarados. Specifically shiny, like, red Gyarados. I love shiny Gyarados. Uh, Lugia. Hmm. And then two others. I'm not 100% sure. I haven't thought that far. Psyduck is really cute. I love shiny Psyduck. Um, I don't know. Oh yeah, also if people are ever worried about me like cutting cards, I always push them down. So, and I know where they are. So I, I always know like there's no way I'm gonna cut them because I can feel them here. So don't you worry. Okay, so the book nook building uh, <laughs> was very unfortunate because I opened it and turned out I needed glue for it, which I didn't have and I wasn't ready for. Uh, and then it just kind of looked a little overwhelming and like a really big 
uh, what's the word? It just looked really intimidating and over overwhelming to do on stream, like, while I'm talking to my chat. Like, there's, like, electricity involved, like, <laughs> so I might end up doing it off stream. Oh, another water energy. Nice. I, I'm probably gonna end up doing it off stream so that I can focus on the build and I'm not like too distracted when I'm building it because I feel like it, it looks really complicated. Like a lot more complicated than just doing like a Gundam build or a model build on stream. So that's why I, I did the Nezuko, um, the Nezuko model kit instead. So I'm sorry for the debates. I posted it on socials everywhere and everything. I was all excited. I was like, hey chat, check out what we're doing today. And then it's just, nope, we're not doing that. Ooh, Aerodactyl. That's pretty cool. Nice. And, dang it, ooh, Jolteon. Now I just need a Flareon. Flareon. Yeah, it's a cool Aerodactyl. I feel like that's the first time we've seen Aerodactyl. Still makes me nervous. <laughs> I'm just trying to reassure you. They are safe. Uh, so yeah. On episode three, I'll never catch up to current if I like the show. Yeah, catching up to One Piece is a, definitely a time commitment for sure. How many of those packs have you got? Uh, I have a total of... Well, we've opened. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. We've opened fourteen packs so far and we've gotten three hits. <laughs> oh, yikes. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine left. Plus one to be claimed. Oh, wait, we hit 69! I see what Wilfreen was going after. I see you. <laughs> So, uh, at 72 subs, then we'll be able to get, uh, the, we'll be able to open all of the 151 that I have. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Ooh. Gotta push the cards down. I felt one was like a stray one, and I was like, oh, I see you. Nice. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Keep the sub count or get the last pack. Hey, that's in God's hands, not mine. <laughs> All right. I feel like if we got like something, I mean the Arbok and the Machoke are already like really great, but like we can always want more. We can always want something cool. Lickitung, Pidgey, Poliwhirl. Kakuna Matata, Primeape, Onyx, Dragonair. Oh, actually, I really like Dragonair. That might be a top five for me. Wolfreen. Yes, sir. Thank you so much, Wolfreen. I really, 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 really am thankful and appreciative of those gifted subs. Thank you so much. Thank you for supporting the stream and supporting our card opening addiction. Thank you. Yeah, Dragonair. Cause like, I like Dragonite, but it's not as like elegant as Dragonair. And I think I just love the elegance of Dragonair so much. You know what I mean? All right, Zubat. Dang it, Ammonite and Fudge. Oh, <laughs> look at him. Look at that Gengar, sheesh. Oh yeah, my Lodic's really elegant too, but the only thing about like my low tick is that when it came out, um, like I wasn't really playing Pokemon when it came out, so I didn't have like an attachment to it, you know what I mean? How many subs is every pack? I'm sorry, I don't follow up. It's okay, no, don't worry. Your resub counted towards a pack opening, so you're doing amazing. I'm already all out of sub or packs anyways, so I'm, I'm capped out on my packs, but it was every three subs what equals equaled to one pack opening just because the 151 packs are like really expensive um so it's just to offset the costs a little bit <laughs> and to support the stream you know a way to support the stream and also um entertainment for all of us frankly i just loaded up liza p 
Oh, there's Christmas drip. Are you serious? That's fun. That's cool. Too bad we weren't playing when that uh, came out. Shoot. So yeah, my Lodix really pretty, but like, I don't have as much of an attachment or like, I don't think it's as meaningful just because. And then Dedenne came out when I wasn't playing either, but I just, I fell in love. Oh my god, I love this card. Something about this is just so cute. This art style is so adorable. Oh my gosh, that is the cutest Grimer I've ever seen. <laughs> I like, like, really epic, cool Pokemon and really freaking cute Pokemon and pretty Pokemon. But it has to, like, ah! It has to be, like, within those categories. If it's not in those categories, you know, then it's just, I don't, I don't really care. <laughs> Articuno and... Easy. We got that already, I think. A hat and antlers and a red nose. Cute. I miss Lies of Peace sometimes. Such a good game. I feel like top five Pokemon's kind of hard, though. Do you guys have a top five Pokemon, like, just off the top of your head? That you can, like, easily just, like, bam, 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 yeah. I know, we need that epic pull. Hello, mercenary. How's it going? Welcome on in. We're opening up some Pokemon packs today. Welcome, welcome. Your favorite Pokemon's Raichu? Nice. Dedenne is dead. Last on my list. No, it's not. What are you, David? <laughs> Oops, spoilers. Yeah? Dang. Metagross? Oh, that one's pretty cool. Uh, okay. Gotta consult the spreadsheet. <laughs> I said off the top of your head, silly. No time for spreadsheet. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> I need to know. Magikarp. Aw, this is pretty cute. Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, Venusaur are one, two, three. Scyther's pretty cool. Charmeleon. I wonder if there's anyone out there that like Charmeleon's their favorite out of the three. Like not Charmander, not Charizard, but Charmeleon. Pidgeot, Staryu, Vaporeon, Ninetales, and Squirtle. Out of all Pokemon, Shinoko? Cool. Sceptile is my number one, really? Isn't Sceptile like a cute little alligator? Or am I thinking of something else? Or a crocodile, whatever it is. The forgotten middle child, I know. Poor guy. Dang it! Taurus. And a Marowak. Ooh. Cool. Ifrit is my favorite part of Pokemon. <laughs> Scissor, Jolteon, and Lucario. Oh, oh! Two people with Scissor. Delmise, Gliscor, Aurorus, and Clodsire. Aw, Claude Sire. Cool. Hang on, I, had, I, need to, I need to check this. So, uh, cause I'm too lazy. Darkrai, Celebi, Ninetales, Dragonite, Mewtwo. Nice. Sceptile. Cause I've forgotten. Sceptile. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, never mind. I was thinking of something else. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. I think it might start with an S too. Uh, yeah, Sceptile's pretty cool. Little grass guy. Any any more form of Ninetales? Ninetales is so pretty. No, I was thinking of, there's like this little brown and maybe a sand isle? It might be sand isle. It's like a little brown crocodile looking guy, little croc. That's Sandile? Okay. I mixed that up with Sceptile. <laughs> Dang it! They, they both end in the same type of name. Or same way. <laughs> Very different, though. Oopsies. I was missing that in Pokemon Go for so long, by the way. I just never hatched one until, like, finally recently. It's like a Christmas miracle. 
pretty low one. Hi, classic, by the way. Hi, hi. Luxray number one. Ooh. It looks, Luxray is pretty badass. I feel like the only reason I'm like even familiar with any of these Pokemon is because of Pokemon Go. Because I didn't play all the older Pokemon, you know? Or like just even, ooh, oh, dang. We've gotten, this is our second Steel Energy. Foily Steel Energy. Because yeah, I actually haven't played a whole lot of the Pokemon games in my lifetime. The first time I played a Pokemon game was Pokemon Yellow and that was in like 2015. <laughs> like, I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't living that Pokemon game life apparently. Charmander Q. Okay, give me something good. Like a Doe Duo. Hell yeah. Yeah, 2015. Yup, Beedrill. Pokemon Yellow. And then my next Pokemon game was Pokemon Moon. And then after that must have been Let's Go Pikachu. And then after that was Sword and Shield. And then Arceus. And then Scarlet Violet, I think. So I've only really played like the most recent. Oh, this card feels thick for some reason. I am thinking of newer gens. I could replace Umbreon with Ceru Ceruledge. Oh yeah, true. Ceruledge is pretty cool. That's like the knight looking Pokemon that was in Scarlet Violet, right? That one was pretty cool. Must have been a throwback. I mean, it was like, since I had never played them before, it was pretty cool. Ooh, Rayquaza is a good one too. That's a that I feel like that li like that list just feels like your vibe monster. It sometimes it just makes sense. Like if you know someone's top five Pokemon, you you like you just it just makes sense sometimes. I feel like it, you it, you get a good sense of like. Does that make sense? <laughs> it's like, okay, instead of taking a personality quiz, what are your top five Pokemon? <laughs> I love the green theme. Cute. My most played Pokemon game is probably Pearl. Was really hype about the remake, but I just can't play the remake because the controls are so whack. Oh, really? What's so contr- What's so whack about the controls? What's so controls about the whack? Oh my god. Subat. Arcanine has always been my favorite since I played more Pokemon Red to start. Mmm, always grabbed a Growlithe. Probably why I don't have an attachment to Charizard. I always went with the Venusaur and paired it with Arcanine and Lapras. Ah, so that was like your go-to fire, so you didn't need Charizard. Makes sense. My favorite starter is Bulbasaur. He's just so cute. I just kind of like, not, not to hate on Venusaur or anything, but I, I, you know, I think Venusaur is like the least favorite of like the end evos, like the, you know? Um, but I just love Bulbasaur. He's just so cute. I just wish Venusaur was a little cooler. Just a little bit. I know, but if we're just comparing, you know, the end evolutions. It was my favorite. Venusaur? Squir Squirtle was my favorite starter for a long time. Not if you're a zoomer. What? For what? What? Trust me when I tell you Sketch's favorite Pokemon of all time is Stunfisk. Trust me. Oh boy. You sure it's not Palkia? <laughs> I will never forget when he was opening Pokemon cards how much he was just hated on Palkia. And just because of the card being pulled so often. <laughs> oh. Pearl is still one of those games where you ran on a grid. In the remake, they use the more modern way of being able to freely run around. But in Pearl, that just makes you bump into door frames all the time. Oh, I guess that's a little awkward then, huh? He got so- I know! Ugh. Right? Right though, monster? I'm telling you. Like for me, I feel like mine makes sense too. It's like, oh, Dedene, but also Lugia, and also Gyarados, and also 
Dragonair. <laughs> like, I don't know, it just, it, like, it's just a, the, the vibe. It, sh it shows off your vibe. I need to take a look through the thousand plus and actually figure out a top 10. Never really considered it, right? Like, there's so many Pokemon to think about. Like, just freaking narrowing it down is pretty tough. It's tough. I don't include Legendary in my top five. They have their own list. That's fair. That's pretty fair. Grimer. Erica's Invitation. Nido Queen. I feel like for me, because there are just so many though, like the legendary, they they just, you know. Oh! Okay. What is this? What do we have here? A little gold something something? Wait, what? Ooh! Whoa! Gold energy, that's cool! I don't think I've ever in my life pulled a gold energy of sorts. Like, actually, through any set, I feel like. This feels like a first. Whoa. And maybe a little something extra? Okay. <laughs> Ditto. That's pretty sick. You know what? I don't even care if it's random energy. I'm taking that W and I'm running with it. You actually made a spreadsheet, Berto? I thought you were memeing. Dang. Berto is serious. I know, the ditto's really cute. I would have an easier time picking out my favorite team of six for each generation. Yeah, I guess so. I feel like I would personally have a hard time with that. Just cause I don't know. <laughs> All right, we got a gold card. That's pretty cool. I know, I would be down to pull a blue eyes. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Okay, we have one, two, three, four packs left, chat. Four packs. Can't go wrong with Ditto. Lugia, Suicune, Celebi are probably my top three. Those are pretty good ones. Those are pretty good ones. I'm actually not even sure if I know... Well... That feels stupid to say. Scarlet and Violet's legendaries are the... The zoom, zoom, zoom. The one with the, <laughs> the wheels. Why do I forget their names? Oh god, I'm, I'm still on Zamazenta and Zacian for some reason, my god. Like my brain is stuck on those Pokemon. But I recall... Like, different Pokemon that were, like, older, or, I don't know, maybe, I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know if it's too spoilery, so I, maybe I won't say much about it. Uh, Machoke. Do go, oh yeah, Cor, Coridon? Yes. And purple one, right. Uh, Coughing. Shoot. Okay. Magneton! I couldn't tell if this was like one of the- Oh yeah, Miraidon! That's the one I had. That was my- <laughs> That was my legendary and I didn't even remember its name. Oops. Uh, it's not that I don't plan on using it. It's that it's a collector's piece and I'm keeping it in pristine condition. Okay. Okay. And that I appreciate it so very much and love it very dearly. Okay. The DLC was actually really good. I think they're still coming out with DLCs too. I don't think they're done with DLCs. Koraidon. Okay. Oh, they are done? Oh, it's over now. Oh. I thought- Oh my gosh, this is our third one today. Jeez. Back to back, too. The last one we got was that one. Oh, so they had the future and the past one now. Oh, I guess I'm still stuck on, like, when they had a hair that's, like, tickling my face. Um, I guess I'm, I was stuck on the fact that they came out with the future one, and then it was just recent that they came out with the, the past one, I suppose. Nice. 
Yeah, I, I never play Pokemon DLCs, but... Um, but a lot of people say they're really good, though. Gloom. Clefable. Doug Trio. Cloisters. One of the reverses. Something. Okay, that Meowth is pretty freaking cute. Like, we can't be upset about that, honestly. You know? And... Oh, Jolteon. We, we haven't pulled Flareon. Where is the Flareon at? Uh... I hope they learned from that. Mm. Oh, it needed optimization and voice acting? But there's never voice acting, is there? I feel like they've never had voice acting. Time to sleep. Good night, Maine. Have yourself a good sleep and a great day tomorrow. Yeah, I feel that, Jay Doyle. Like, some, sometimes some DLCs are, like, just kind of pricey. But, and you don't know if you'll like it either. I don't know. It, it's tough sometimes. But some people really enjoy some of the DLCs too. So. Yeah, the Ghastly Gengar and the Haunter art in this set is pretty freaking good. Hopefully we get a new gen this year or a remake of the White and Black series. I want another Arceus game. I know a lot of people really didn't like that game too much, but I freaking loved it. Like, I would love to see another one of those. I am patiently waiting for another Arceus type game. I I mean I hope they're making more. I cause if it dude. We are 100 percent playing that if it comes out for sure. Uh robotic without voices? Mm. I mean there are just so many games that just don't have voice acting, so I feel like to me, like, yeah. I'm just kinda I got I got kinda used to it. That game is getting more praise nowadays, is it? I feel like a lot of people are just kinda... A lot of people didn't like it because it was so different. Gold Duck Reverse. Ooh, Jigglypuff, dang it. And... Marowak. Meadowhack. Meadowhack, Meadowhack. Okay. <laughs> okay. They are just better with it. At this point, it feels stale with the world being 3D and colorful and such. Yeah. I guess. I understand that. I understand that perspective. Why? Because it's, you know... Like, the sentiment is nice, it, it, it's kind of like, you know, I feel like sometimes it's just borderline, like, too, it's just too much sometimes. Like, it's nice, and the sentiments is nice of, like, Looney is so cool. But if it's said, like, 50 times during a stream, it loses, first of all, it loses its meaning. <laughs> Second of all, it becomes a little spammy sometimes, and then third of all, it, it's it, it's just it could be a little too much sometimes it's just like okay I just need you to relax a little bit but while i'm at it because i i figure i might as well say it i just want to say please i i, I don't want to have like cute pet names anymore like if people come into the stream and it's like hello like my beautiful sunshine cupcake or like hello beautiful pretty loony like you know like just 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 say hey <laughs> I'd, I'd rather be like like talk to like a normal person like like hey cutie like no I, I i don't i don't like that stuff it makes me more uncomfortable than it makes me comfortable you know what i mean so i just want to i just i just need to put that out there no more no i i don't want to tolerate like the the um pet name stuff anymore it's just weird it's just a little weird can i call you loony mom Shut up, United. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just had I just had to say it because I feel like sometimes I am too nice and I just keep it to myself and I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna ignore it. But I feel like I just have to say it, you know. So that's so. that's so. 
Legends Arceus made me feel like a kid again. I felt so obsessed with that game. I was like, I couldn't put it down. I would play it on stream, and then I would continue playing off stream, and I would I lost so much sleep playing that game. You know? Dang it. Wait, this is a sick Kabutops, actually. That was our last pack, by the way. No last pack magic. God damn it. As a female, I can agree that pet names are freaky as frig. It's true, dude. Like, it's just, it just makes me more uncomfortable. Like, it, it's not worth it. <laughs> it's not worth it. Some people might like it, but not here. You know, that's all. Yeah, it's like virtual catcalling, and I just don't think catcalling is cute. At all. Again, maybe some people like it, I just don't. And since this is my stream anyways, I feel like I might as well enforce that I don't feel like I want that here. That's all. Yeah, or digital. My little Discord kittens. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Hi, Lily Storm. I just gotta let you guys know. Sometimes it happens and I'm just like, You can cat call your Pikachu behind you. I'm not answering that. <laughs> I'm not answering that. <laughs> that is the Pikachu's reaction, bruh. <laughs> All right, so chat out of how many packs was that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24? 24 packs? Uh, we got four pulls. We got four pulls in 24 packs. We got like one of everything, kind of. We're missing a rainbow card. That's what we're missing. Yeah, that's right. Uh, so we got, we got two Arbox. Machoke character card. Here, I'll give you a closer look. Closer look. Otterbuck. And then... Psychic, Gold Energy, and Machoke. Woo! That's like $120 for $5 a... Yeah, like it's $5 a pack. So like these things are expensive. Jarbuck. If I enter a new stream, I usually look at their about me section to see what names work. I remember I shortened the Twitch name one time and I got some backlash from that. Oh, really? Yeah, like, you know, sometimes it's just about like reading the room. Like some streams will be cool with pet names, but I think I need to put a rule in my rules section just so people know. Because I feel like maybe people don't realize that I'm not comfortable with it. And I, I think I just need to, I want to set that boundary this year, you know? Hi, Pika! Thank you so much for the raid! I hope you had a good stream! Welcome on in, raiders! Hello, everyone! Unfortunately, we just opened- or we finished opening all of our packs! <laughs> but thank you so much! How was your stream? Hi, KJ! Hey! Wish you a great day! Thank you so much for the 20 months! I really appreciate it! Thank you, thank you! No, I love when people call me Looney and Lunity. I would rather they call me that. So, it's all good. Um, oh yeah, also, we- we built a Nezuko- model kit today as well so we got a lot of we, we got a lot of stuff done chat we, we built nezuko we opened some packs got terrible pull rates but we still got stuff so not too bad not too bad <laughs> thank you so much for the raid pika thank you doesn't matter if they're pokemon cards or not just grab random ass packs of nba cards <laughs> why nba cards <laughs> Oh, she was great. Chill night with Maple Story. Oh, nice. That sounds like a really chill time. That's awesome. Glad you had a good stream. But yeah, welcome on in. Play me in Pokemon cards. Time to learn. Oh, boy. I suck at card games. The only card game I am capable of, like, you know, just enduring is Marvel Snap. That's all I got, okay? Anything else is too much. I can't do it. Marvel snap because it's simple I don't have to read too much and it's easy also wait yeah okay I want to make sure I thank KJ thank you so much um Marvel snap I have been opening from two packs of like 
Are these even the same? Whatever, it's fine. Pokemon is pretty simple, TBH. Listen. I... No. <laughs> Sometimes, I... It's just like card games are just too overwhelming. Like the knowledge that you need to know, it, it, it's too much for my Papega brain to handle. And I think the thing about like the Marvel Snap thing for me was like, it's the way that they had you learn it. Like the tutorial for Marvel Snap was so seamless and it was so easy to learn that I was like, oh, okay. Looks like I can actually play card games after all. <laughs> like, but then other games, it's like, you need to know all of these mechanics to the game. And it's just like, uh, I'm going home. I'm going home. <laughs> Board games are better for casual playing anyway. Yeah, I mean, I don't think a lot of people play card games for casual, right? Usually card games are more competitive. There's so many cards, I just can't. I feel like I could never get into magic either. Like, even just like something like Hearthstone, you know? Sometimes there's just like, you need to know too much about like what to, I know this is kind of like what card games are about, but like, if there are just too many cards, having to like anticipate or, you know, assume what could happen can get too much, if that makes sense. Like having to know like every single card and possibility, nah. That's why it's played in seasons when there's card rotations and then you have to learn the new stuff. I actually didn't realize it was played in seasons, but still. I feel like Hearthstone might be a little too much. It, the Hearthstone is where I can't. <laughs> like anything above Marvel Snap, basically I just can't handle. <laughs> Uh, yes, I have heard of them lethal. I have. But again, it's kind of like... It's kind of like... Uh, going into the too much collecting territory. Oh, is it, Matt? Hmm. I think you can. I think there are different, like, play modes, right? Where you can use, like, all cards versus, like, season cards? I don't know. I'm talking, like, as if I know how to play anything that isn't Marvel Snap, okay? <laughs> like, I don't know. Ugh. Supposedly, there was some kind of leak. Oh. It's mostly collected, not played. Okay, well still, too much extra stuff for me to collect. Like, I already collect way too much. I need to relax on the collecting as I buy more Naruto and Pokemon cards, okay. <laughs> Ugh. But seriously, been trying to collect those signatures is too is so difficult. Yeah, like you know, too many things to collect out in this stinking world. Too many cool stuff out there, is what it is. It's too many cool things. Yeah, the resin statues are too much. I don't even have a spot for where I'm gonna have to put my freaking Attack on Titan one when it comes in. That's future me's problem. Raisin? Did I say raisin? Resin. Resin statues. Awkward. All right, chat. My family is filled with hoarders, which taught me to not keep too much stuff. Uh, I, I mean, I guess that's like an extreme thing that you were exposed to then. I only have three, okay? I only have three keyboards. Put it next to them, then I'm not putting on. I said raisin? Oh Christ. What is that? What is that? No, but yeah, it's still like, you know, just something exposed to negative wise. Did I order those Team Liquid ones? Yeah, I actually have the, the keycaps of that. Um, that's why I unboxed it the other day, actually. I unboxed the Team Liquid keycaps, and I haven't had the time to put them on my keyboard yet, so... I'm gonna have to do that when I find the time. I was gonna say, I was like, why would I say Raisin? I don't feel like... Like, what? 
Do it now with the cam. No, because I need to like wash my keyboard. It's too, I like lightly dusted it. So it's not as bad, but I need to like, like in the individual keycaps are dusty. Like I need to, I need to clean it. So I ain't having anybody look at my keyboard. Okay. These are for my eyes only. <laughs> All right. This is jump scare material. It's actually not that bad. I need to run it through the bath, the dishwasher, the machine washable keyboard. <laughs> Just kidding. Hi Quadro, thanks for stopping on in. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Uh, oh no, Bossy, I hope you feel better soon. So what is the next game we're gonna be frustrated with, Miss Lunity? The next game we are gonna be frustrated with will be Cyberpunk. Uh, so yeah, that's gonna be our next playthrough, um, Cyberpunk which will either start later today, depending on how I'm feeling, because sometimes uh, around, you know, Mother Nature gives me a hard time a little bit, so it depends on if cramps are bad or not. Um, but um, if not tomorrow, it, it'll just be the next stream. So if you guys want to see the Cyberpunk playthrough and you're new here and you're not following yet, don't forget to hit the follow button. Would love to hang out with you guys. Do, I, you, do you already know what kind of build you're thinking? Bro, I don't know anything about Cyberpunk, so I don't even know there were builds. <laughs> like, I'm just... It's my first playthrough, so I know nothing about it. Looking forward to scenes. Uh-huh. In Cyberpunk. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> God. Oh, God. That's my, that's my biggest stress. I'm so stressed. <laughs> Melee build? That's all I've ever heard you guys talk about. It was just the melee stuff. But uh, So yeah, next stream will be... Uh, yes. Cyberpunk. You can be shooty or punchy or slashy. Well, I guess we'll see when we get to that, I suppose. Hope you finish the Phantom Liberty one fast, because I ain't sticking around for that. What do you mean? I don't know what that means. Actually, don't tell me. Don't tell me. Going to be Cyber Demon Looney 2077? That's right. Uh, also, actually, chat, before you, before I go and before you go, I have a new song coming out on Friday. Um, I'm doing a cover of Greedy by Tate McRae. It's a really fun song. Um, if you want to help support my song on Spotify, I would absolutely appreciate it so much if you could take two seconds to click on that link if you use Spotify and to pre-save the song. Uh, pre-saving just basically like preemptively is gonna have the song into like your liked songs basically. So um, it just helps support the release on Spotify when it does release. I don't think the song will arrive on Friday on streaming platforms, but the video will be out on Friday. It's okay, Skydor, no worries. But yeah, so the video will release on Friday and then the song will just be released when it goes through and when it, the licensing gets approved. So, yeah, if you guys want to hear a little teaser of what that song sounds like, I'll play that for you all right now. Um, I'll give you the chorus here. Uh, so it's going to sound like this. I would want myself to believe me. I'll put you through hell. the teaser but yeah friday new video new cover song don't forget to pre-save thank you yeah it's like we're going with the the rock anime heavy inspiration from like anime openings you know more here i'll give you the intro i'll give you the intro then <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's all I got for you, okay? That's all I got. Intro has those anime vibes. Yes. That's what we're aiming for. Yeah. Figured it was from here? Hell yeah, brother. All right, folks. I'm going to be heading out for the night. I'm going to have an earlier end to today's stream. 
ending at three and not four. Pre-saved again, although Spotify never actually tells me you had a new song. Oh, really? Hmm. I don't know if there's like a notification thing that you are able to see or not, but... A live performance? I don't like doing live performances too much. I'm more of a recording artist. I'm not super fond of live performing. I'm not as confident with my live performances. It's 4 a.m. for you? Yeah. It's late. So we gotta go. Alright, so I will either see you all later today or the next stream, which will be maybe the next day after. Uh, but yeah, Cyberpunk will be what we will be doing next. So I'm looking forward to experiencing it with you guys. Uh, we're gonna go raid Mandy. She should be live for maybe another like hour or so, potentially. Um, but yeah. So if you don't want to miss it, feel free to turn on alerts or whatever, notifications if you want to, etc, etc. All that good stuff. If you wanna, if you missed the link to the past playthrough, uh, the last episode, the finale will be on YouTube, the YouTube VOD channel later today. So, ooh, ending at 4.20, nice. Look at us go, totally planned. <laughs> All right, chat, have yourselves a good day or night. Uh, stumbling on my words, stay safe out there. Stay hydrated. Have yourselves a good one. Catch y'all later. Bye. Toodles. Thank you all for the gifted subs. Thank you so much for the resubs, the brand new subs. Thank you all for hanging out with me. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs>